since the game is a starter, can I just like do 15 instead of 2? Is that possible? Yeah. 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 9 is going to be at 15, not 2,000. Eugene. I'm the tournament director at Texas Card House Dallas. I have some exciting news for our tournament players in 2023. We will be starting a tournament rewards program that is offering a $15,000 free roll quarterly and there's two ways to qualify. One, you can be top 20 on our money leaderboard. Two, you can be top 25 on our loyalty rewards leaderboard. Follow along at TexasCardDallas.com for more details. Your adrenaline is pumping. Over $20,000 is on the line. The clock is ticking. Buzzer beater bad beat has begun. The famous Texas Card House bad beat is back. Take your shot to win big. Be in any Texas Card House when it hits and you get your share. $100 cash in your hand. The bad beat jackpot rises every day and the qualifying hand gets easier and easier each day. Just by being checked in, you're a winner of $100, no matter which Texas card house you're in. Texas card house is the only poker club in the state offering you this. Come into Texas card house all spring to win. Okay, okay, welcome. Welcome to TCH Monday 2-5 game. Match the sack, 2K buy-in. Just kind of looking at that Houston room, that, that's it. That's a really exciting. I can't wait to go go check that out. Um, this is a very special one. We've got some special guests here joining us this evening. Um, this is our, again, this is our Monday game. We are doing bomb pots, so we're having a bomb pot basically every 30 minutes. So we'll be doing a bomb pot tracker <laughs> as we go through the night. And we're going to go through the players as we get going here. Um, a lot of familiar faces, a lot some new players, which will bring a lot, a lot of excitement to the game. We've got a couple, I believe, of vloggers here as well. So in the uh, Poker, Llama, and Kraken. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about those folks in a little bit here. But we're going to start off with our Bomb Pot as Norm, as all you guys probably know. Bomb Pots are a... No, are just a post-flop action game, and we are playing the PLO variety. So, Pot Limit Omaha, where everybody gets the ante 10 bucks, and everyone gets to see two boards. They get to see two flops, and then they can make their decisions based on those two flops. And we're going to get out of the way with the button and seat one with our, with our good friend of the stream, Mike. Hopefully he's going by that moniker this evening. I always like to try to reverse engineer these bomb pots and see what, what are the nuts or what are the nut draws here. So we're looking at diamonds and hearts. So we already see, let's see who we got here. We've got Colby, who has been on the stream several times, a very good player. Got pocket kings. I don't see, I see diamonds held by Poker Llama, but not the nut variety. So the 10 on the bottom completes a straight. We do see Kraken Poker with a 4. Doesn't have a friend, as we say. And we do see Colby with the second nut flush draw, and I really like his fold there. I really think in bomb pots, you really want to play the nut draws or, um, or the nuts, basically. Since everybody gets to see a flop, someone has the nut draw or the nuts almost all the time. Just not this. All right, we have... We have Poker Llama calling with his his straight. Let's see what we have here. Looks like we have Kraken Poker. 
Shows him at 100% with his boat on top. 210. 210 is a bet. Sometimes when you have the 4-5 in this spot, it's, it's sometimes not even the best hand here. Can get a little scary. We're going to have Poker Llama. He's going to look him up with his straight. Straights aren't as powerful, obviously, in bomb pots as they are in other poker-type games. One board straight. You're often you're often getting quartered, but uh, not this time. So we both now we have Kraken Poker versus Poker Llama in our heads up battle <laughs> over the over the bomb pots. And I did hear I did hear them asking about bomb pots. So I'm not too familiar if they know uh, have a lot of experience playing bomb pots. So, um, but we are going to get a chop pot, as is the most is <laughs> is mostly the case when we play bomb pots. We often see a a uh, a chop pot. That's why it's important to try to get that third person also. In there as well. Okay, so we're off. We're off to the first, first hand bomb pot, and it's going to be a top pot. Alrighty. Small profit of fifty-five dollars. Hey, I'll take the win. All right, see one. We have Mike. He's going to be on the button. I'm assuming he's going by Mike. He does. Might be Mike Bell this time. C two is a uh, Kraken poker. Uh, C three is G Dog. We've seen G Dog. Very very good player. Cash game. Uh, we've seen him on the stream several times already, and we've seen him out there. I think I've seen him out there every night, <laughs> mostly. Uh, we have Colby in seat four, very good player, good tournament player as well. And we have our friend, fan favorite, Chase there. We, and then we have Kevin in seat six, also also a uh, been on the stream several times, and we just talked about the Poker Llama here in seat seven. Then, of course, Optimize. He chose to wear his... Adidas gear, so that's a nice change of pace. <laughs> Sorry, always wears Adidas gear. And then we have Aaron, who's been on the stream a lot as well in seat nine, uh, just not recently. So, so he is uh, joining us here today on or tonight on the felt. So, welcome all those players. Good luck to them. And I expect to see a really crazy game. And we have a couple of kind of, like we'll say, aggressive players. Um, and you guys can guess who those players are. Should make fun for a fun, fun game. Okay, we got Chase in there with 7-4, and he's going to outflop Optimize. It's hard to make a pair, and uh, when Chase leads out like this, yeah, it's just it's a fold. You don't really have any... It's interesting to hear. Any five equity five at five all. You're just hoping yeah, to hit your ace because even the queen beats your second pair. Thank you, sir. All right, Chase is going to take down the first hold'em. Good to see that. And Chase is probably mixed off times around the stream more than anybody in the last couple of years. Chase plays all the all the games. Two five all the way. He never played twenty five a lot too as well. Good to see him drag a pot. This might be one of the toughest tables I've I've seen in a while. You guys have Seven, noticed 25. or may not have noticed already. We do have new chips here at TCH Austin. Uh, they look pretty spiffy, if you ask me. So um, I have not even played with them, so I don't know how they shuffle or anything like that. I am looking forward to do that tonight. But we do have new chips. <laughs> From the cleaning. From the cleaning. That's the soap. If you're wondering why those those things look different. All right, you have Poker Lama's going to raise it to 25. He's going to get a call with his suited ace by Colby. And Chase is like, yeah, I'm priced in here. So five call as well. Let me go ahead and uh, defend here. This is this <laughs> is a great flop for Kobe as he not only flops the second pair, playing a little trappy here, but he flops the nut flush draw. So he's going to see if someone can bet out. And Chase is really drawing pretty thin here. Pokalama picks up a gut shot. Not sure if it, it's only a twenty dollar bet. You may want to like just to call to see what happens. I'm thinking if those diamonds weren't there, it'd be an easier call. But he could do he could do a couple of different ways. He's gonna like to looks like he's gonna like to bump it up. Now, I'm not sure if he has a lot of experience playing in Texas. Uh, typically, a three x bet on the flop from a raise is not gonna get anybody to fold here. 
What this does, though, it tells the other two players that I, I have a king, most likely, or a flush draw, but Colby has enough flush draw. So. And yeah, as, as expected, uh, both players are going to call. Chase does not want to see a nine. Um, it's going to be a three for some help here. Well, Colby has a stranglehold on this on this hand. I expect him to check it over still, given the fact that Chase did call and Poker Llama raised. Or, sorry, Chase bet and Poker Llama raised. Colby could be looking to check raise in this spot as well. If it was just a single player who was against, he may just call a bet, but going multi-way, there is some straight draws out there. Seven bet, 140. Well, Jed, I didn't want to actually say that. I'm just saying fan favorite. How about that? <laughs> I consider a chase a friend of mine as well. So if that's who you're, <laughs> I didn't want to. Say. That's who you're talking about. All right. So Pokemon is going to lead out here. This is a bluff. This is um, you know, although he does have outs. I think this is a spot where Colby can raise, given the fact that Pokemon does show some some aggression here. But he's going to like just to call and play the trappy game. The queen of diamonds would be really, really dirty here. That is not a card that Colby wanted to see. Now he loses to any bigger ace. So he may be just in check calling mode. And Poker Llama is going to have to take a stab at this. He's already invested a couple hundred already. Let's see what size he goes with here. He's going to have to make it really big to get Colby off. It's tough for Colby to put Poker Llama on an ace since he bet the flop. I mean, you can't put him on ace king because he did, he wasn't the pre-flop aggressor. So it's hard to put him on an ace. If he doesn't have an ace, then he might have a king. But I think this is just a call here. I always root for Chase. He's going to lay it down. Yeah, that king really killed Colby there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly reasonable his opponent had a king. And it looked value-y too. It looked like a value bet for a king as well. So. We are doing a mandatory, I hate, I hate to use the word mandatory, we are doing a mandatory straddle here. So effectively this game is 5-10, 2 5 10. So you'll see that. And I know towards the second half of the stream we'll, we'll definitely see some some double straddling here uh, as I was talking to some of the players before the stream. So um, effectively making the game even bigger. I expect these stacks to get in that five six $6,000 range. Poker Llama wakes up with a... Uh, Nice little ace there, and he's dominating both his players. Nice his players, both his players share a 10. I expect to see a C bet here from Poker Llama as well. I'm not sure either, Jedi. I wish we. <laughs> I mean, I kind of wish we'd have kept those those stats. That would be fun. Although I don't know how much money I would get for those. And Kevin's gonna, gonna bet out on this. He's got second pair. He's, he's like, um, 
the third pair. He's like, it's hard to make a pair, guys, and you guys have no interest in this hand, so I'm going to bet that. Wait, where was this tournament at? The tournament with you and I don't think it would be DQ as far as, because he, he doesn't play this stream enough. But I've played a couple of streams with DQ. Yes, he's incredibly unpredictable. And, but um, boy, what a, what a lot of fun to play with him. Uh, he's very, very, he's a table captain for sure. He's very, just very, very entertaining. I don't know if he comes across the stream. All right, we got some reasonably good hands here. Optimize is going to bump this up to 40. Uh, 4x there, given the fact that it's a $10 straddle, $10 blind effectively, so it's going to be a 40. Yeah. Mike Bell, really totally reasonable yeah. to miss the call. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think Kraken should bump this up there. Put in a, put in a raise. Hopefully get one of his opponents <laughs> twofold. But if he calls, that's just going to invite the other players behind him to call, so I expect him to, you know, 140 would be a nice little, little sizing there, something like that. And he does make it 140. What a good guess by me. <laughs> so, Kraken makes it 140. I really love that raise there. But Chase wakes up with aces, the, the wildest, craziest player at the table, waking up with the best hand. He is going to definitely raise this, given the fact there's four. Oh, and he's got Kevin behind him. And he's going to bump it up. 420, kind of a smallish raise. I know it doesn't sound like at 140 to 420, but. And I don't think Kraken has no. played. I'm pretty sure Kraken hasn't played with Chase, so. Um, Ace Jack is pretty strong. He is suited, but he doesn't have position. He's losing to any big ace. He's hoping his opponent has a pair that's not aces. But two calls. And Kraken's gonna make the call. He's gonna make the call. He's gonna defend. Oh, I'm sorry. He has. He actually has position. That's probably why he called. You can see the button there. Yeah, an opponent though, from the small blind, bets big. And now, monotone board, all hearts, chase with the <laughs> nut flush draw. And it goes all in before the cards are even out. Applying max pressure here. So, I like it. Great job, Chase. That, um, I certainly believe you. <laughs> no, I can see Rand. <laughs> If he checks, what do you do on that board? Uh, Obviously, we know it's we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you hey, Joey, how are you? Thanks for about? thanks for joining us. We have 134 in the chat watching this game, which is going to be, I'm foreshadowing here, it's going to be a really electrifying game and fun to watch tonight. Uh, I want to take a look at the, see what we have. As far as likes, I, I know I always ask every time, but if you can hit that like button for us, it would help out a lot. We only have 21 likes out of 140 of you, and I think the producer sneezed. Mel, Mel will be joining us a little bit later, right, Mel? <laughs> um, I am flying uh, solo tonight, so um, glad to do it. It's fun either way. All right, so we have, we have Aaron. He's going to just 3x. That's kind of a smaller smaller size. Uh, kind of early position. Um, Kraken's going to try the raise again. He's going to make it 110. It's good size. Kevin, with the he's king 10 suited, may want to see a flop. These kind of hands you want to see a flop with, so you can easily get away from. He won the main? 
Six calls. Probably going to give okay. us a call, I'm sure. Okay, gotcha. You know, it, it takes me a minute here to see if it was a call or a raise because the chip colors look different. <laughs> so, um, so it takes me a minute here. And that's going to bring in, that's going to bring in Aaron. So. <laughs> <laughs> Kraken has two. He's got to avoid three overs here. Three players. I want your money. I want his money. I want his money. Six check. Nine check. Kind of a flop that nobody really wanted to see except Kraken. Now he's got the over pair. He doesn't have to bet big here. 150, something like that. Would be a good sizing. Tells the same story. So let's see what he chooses. He goes to two. two Hi, Helen, Massachusetts. study hard. We are off to the next hand. As you can see, the straddle will be on. will be in effect the whole game here. How far away is that from Pasporo? I feel like Mike is just kind of studying the new players and getting settled in. I expect him in the second half to be very, very aggressive. Maybe he's setting up his image right now. We have Kraken with another pocket pair. I see you know. He's just going to limp in for 10. Colby with his suited queen connecting there. He's probably going to bump this up. Every single hand of me is fine. Four bet, 50. I'm that guy. Five fold. I like it. He's in Six pretty good goals. position. Kevin will lay his down. There you go. may want to want to set behind him. He is technically ahead. Fifty's a bit. Snap call three pads. Two Interesting flop. Yeah, Kraken's still in the lead, but Chloe picks up a flush draw here on the flop. The board is paired, so it's a little scary, but not too much. I expect I expect a check bet here, and it already happened. So he's going to go 50 again. So it goes on a little, little he goes about half pot. Um, it's kind of a good flop for Kraken, too, right? That flop really shouldn't favor, favor Colby too much. Now, that king would definitely help. This may go check, and Chloe might might have liked to go a little bit bigger on sizing here. Oh, we're going to have Kraken Donk lead out. Little blocker bet here. So this pot's already at 437, and there is Colby's card. I think Kraken knows this, too. See if Kobe can extract any value. It might be tough to do. The obvious draw to get there. You might make it, you can either choose very small or make it kind of. I'm making it. Yeah, I'm making it right now. Let me go in the middle here. I'm thinking like 250, something like that. Let's see what he does. I think it's 275, so. I mean, so that's where I've seen it. I've seen the name. Probably in Google in this Lay down. Thank you. Still early on. We have Chase leading the way, almost five hundred dollars in profit. 
I expect Chase to put on a lot of pressure in these players. He'll definitely um, definitely straddle for some bigger sizes down the road there. I've seen him straddle, straddle for $2,100 in, in a 2-5 game. So. Hold on, are these the chips that have the readers in them? No. Are we going to get those? I was just wondering, maybe that's why they changed it out. At some point they were saying, yeah, they're going to be able to RFID the chips, just yeah. like the RFID the car. 4-bit, 25. 5-fold. Yeah, you can see Kobe's hoodie there. Six fold. I think they have to do 100. He's got, he's yeah, got the, old, uh, the old spades on it. He likes to cover up a lot where the yeah, face mask can't, can't get any tails off of him. Right, we're going to go four ways to the flop here. Some interesting holdings by these guys. And I see Jack 10 right off the bat. Mike Bell's going to flop top two, but eight, nine, Chase. With the flop straight, he's going to go ahead and lead out here. Um, exactly what I think he should do, given the fact there's so many opponents in the hand. He doesn't have to worry about any flushes or anything, but but still, two pair hand or a set, pocket sevens are in play. Mike's going to... Mike is going to raise him. God, this is like... And I know these two have played poker together before, lots of times, so... Um, being in the same poker circles as you would. And Chase is like, you know he's doing cartwheels in his head, thinking of the right size. If he re-raises, that looks so strong. If he does re-raise, I expect it to be a smaller size. 450, something like that. 420, 400. Really, really small, hoping his opponent jams on him. Um, I wouldn't mind just a call either. He just calls, it's tell him like I have top hair or something like that. Five calls. <laughs> He's playing is really good. He's he just calls with the absolute nuts. He's just looking for a non-paired board. I expect if there's a non-paired board, it's just going to be a check from Chase. Mike Bell will probably bet. It's a perfect card. Although, Ace King for sure now. King Nine also comes in play as well. But we both know Chase is not going anywhere, and they both check. Oh, I'm sorry. Mike was first to act. Yeah. Five bit, three twenty-five. Yeah, I was getting sunburned outside last week. It's so weird. <laughs> and um, I'm flying. Who's gonna go? Seventy percent pot, eighty yeah, percent pot so here. I just brought it back because I'm only seeing. Kind of a higher, higher size in. Mike's not going in with two pairs. Still can't fill up. What a great card for Chase. He can probably comfortably bet anything. I would go, his SPR is a one to one really, so sell, uh, so stack to pot ratio. So he could comfortably go all in. Um, I think with any other player, Mike folds if he goes all in, and he does go all in, he gets called. Yeah, I was gonna say, if any other player, Mike can fold that. He does lose two, better two pair. Like Queen Jack could have played the same way. But Chase now with a, with a double up here, well deserved. And that's why, everybody, that's why you play 8 9 off. <laughs> nah, I didn't like the Queen. So, 11-100. That's where Chase's reputation got him paid. And Chase is probably going to be the highest, well, he will be the highest VPIP here tonight. He usually around that 60, 65% mark. That's percentage of hands he plays voluntarily. Going wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Chase already with a over a 2K profit. I would have liked him to have Ace King a lot more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Mm. All right, here we go. Like I said, this is two five, two thousand dollar cap, but you can match the stack. So, like Chase is already up to four K, I believe, forty one hundred. Looks up with a nice hand, couple of Broadway cards. So anybody can elect to buy up to four K if or thirty three hundred. Sorry. If they choose to, which we will see. Simple, no Optimize will probably buy up Nine to that here momentarily. He's getting a feel for the game. Chase just calls the Queen Jack suited. Hoping to get a raise. And he gets Kevin to bet into him, so he was just going to call. He definitely didn't want to lead out there and get re-raised, so he wants to see a flop with his suited Broadways here. Oh, and Chase is going to smash this flop again, and he's going to check. Uh, the screen froze. There, oh, no, he leads out. This is a very interesting move. If you have a queen there in Chase's spot, you typically wouldn't bet out. Chase is hoping Kevin has a hand, but Kevin doesn't have anything to really call it. Just some backdoor equity with the straight and flushes out there. But the board is paired, so, yeah. He's going to show him the queen. Oh, my God. He's got some fire. No Stop shit. him. It's good flux. Yeah. I need to stop checking in the dark. I'm not scared of those aces. You were scared? Come on, bro. What are you scared of? Dude, he should be scared of aces. Remember what happened to me? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I was playing uh, at the win for the win millions, the tournament. I get down after dinner break. I get aces. Guy to my left, so I open. Guy to my left, three bets. He has queens. As you can hear the table talk. Guy to his are, left, small black has kings. Aces, queens, kings, pre flop. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hold on, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll explain what happens. Five four, six four. Three. I'm gonna guess that aces don't hold. You guys might see that. <laughs> 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 That's really not what the players and the game know. Maybe if their cards have been scanned. If your cards have, not, if your cards have been scanned in the red view, uh, it'll show, the cards won't show, but it'll, it'll be like a little circle. Like a little, like the cards will show up next to the player's name if they were scanned. All right, G Dog. That's his, not his real name. He's got an ace queen here. We haven't seen him play a pot yet. Against, now he's against Optimize here. On the window, King. Three, six, Optimize is going to pick up a gutter here. Uh, yeah. Not too thrilled. Yeah, got he's going to bet it. That's so bet like, the guy folded queens. Bomb pot next hand, guys. I mean, I guess we can do that by the jam, but. Did I just see that? I did. Um, so Optimize gets there, but the flush gets there as well. So G Dog's not going anywhere with the nut draw as he holds the ace of clubs in his hand. The pot is relatively small. G Dog's going to go ahead and lead out here. I think Optimize has got He's got to raise this. If you had a flush, would you ever. Did you ever lead out here like this? Given the fact that your opponent has shown, has shown aggression? Probably not. I expect a raise here from, from Optimize. Let's see if he does that. It looks like he does. He makes it 175. Kind of a smallish raise. It might be. Looks like G Dog has a flush draw, which is exactly what he has in this spot. G Dog's not going anywhere. I'm just going to like to call here. So this pot's already ballooned up to over 500 here. Oh, gee. <laughs> G-Dog catches up with the nut flush draw. And he checks it over, hoping his opponent has a shows aggression here. Um, and, of course, this, that, that card also helps also helps optimize there as he had the eight, eight of clubs there. So. All right, we are going to a Yes. 
Barrel stream. We're off to a a bomb pot. Texas bomb pot. Trust me, it's a lot different. Mr. Mike Bell is going to add some chips there. Looks like 1,600 if I'm not mistaken. What'd you have on my ace's hand? Ace Bomb pot number two. We'll have a bomb pot every, roughly every 30 minutes, it looks like. We have the bomb pot button, which rotates the opposite direction as the regular dealer button. And so, when the dealer button hits the bomb pot button, we'll have a bomb pot. And of course, the dealer change as well, which is once an hour. All right, so we'll see you as the queen high flush draw here with the spades. Two check, three check, we're looking check. for. Takes a moment here. I do see the queen of spades, but no friends there. First time playing in Texas or not? Kevin does have a flush draw, but he can't be too excited about it. Oklahoma with top set on the bottom. So you guys a 9-10 or something like that. I don't see anything. Kevin does have two pair on one board and flush draw on both. But. Are you mostly in the States? I think Poco Lama's going to win that What's the city that pot. I'm thinking of? Um, it starts with an M. A little bit no to F there. Yeah. That's a state, right? I'm thinking of a city that my cousin's always... All right, like, 144. Folks in the chat, thank you guys for, like for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. I'm going to have to look at all the math. But I thought it was Monterey. Anybody going to Vegas for the WSOP? I think that starts in June, goes through July, something like that. And if you are going, have you already looked at the, I know the event schedule is out already, so I was taking a look at that yesterday and seeing what events I could play. Kevin with the K's. The Kevins is going to bump this up to 40. 4X here. I think he's in early position, which is kind of a smaller raise, for at least for Texas. Optimize is going to re-bump this up, and he only makes it 3X there. And Kraken with a real hand as well. They both have each other outs against Kevin because incoming 3-bet or coming soon here. Two this pulls. might get all in pre-flop, actually, knowing these two players. Played a lot of poker with most of these folks on the table. <coughs> Kevin is like, hmm, we should make it. I wouldn't go too big here. You want to give him an opportunity to re-raise. Yes, he could have aces, but that, that's just a cooler, and that's just the way it is. Over the long run with Kings, you want to get, you want to try to get your money in, especially if you can get it in pre-flop, which with those two hands now, I think you can. It's going to take me a little longer normally to figure out the bets that these players make because I am not familiar with the cause of these chips. So Kevin raises it to 350, not a big sizing. Optimize he got a decision. If he calls, 
concert is like hundreds and fives. Yeah, it's really nice to hang out. That's exactly what he's going to do. That's going to put him in a tough spot here, right? If he misses. All right, we got a big pot of burger. Well, that flop shouldn't really help anybody, but I guess in theory it would be more of an optimized flop given the fact he just called. And optimized does have a backdoor flush shot, but he's probably not thinking that. He's going to bet four, and these two players are playing a lot, a lot together. Hey, man, I'm happy to be on the sidelines. Talk about a big yeah, yeah, I like the way uh, Blake played that. I'm sorry, Optimize. And Kevin's gonna win his gonna win this pot. Nice little 367 there. All right, let's get back to the chat. I know I asked a question a few minutes ago and see who's going to. So kicker problems. You just booked your Airbnb today. What what events are you looking to play? And Kenna James, looking forward to the night's action. No, I mean. Kind of a fan of Optimize, as am I. You live in Vegas, so you'll probably be there <laughs> during the WSOP. We should, if you're in there, I'm going to be, I'm trying to get there. I got some health stuff going on, but I'm going to try to get there and play play an event, a couple of events, but really for the cash games. And definitely will give you a shout out, maybe do a meetup game or something. What, uh, what, what casino do you like to play cash games, or are you a tournament player? Or are you either? <laughs> Hello, Marco. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you, you saying like six bet thirty? I don't know. Okay, probably seventy. Like. Poker llama with the aces, and Kevin's gonna make a very small bet pre-flop with eights. <laughs> I think Poe's going to choose like 120. It's 125. It's really good size. In fact, there's so many players behind him. Unfortunately, if one person calls, he's going to get a lot of other people calling, but that's not the case right now. So. Nothing, nothing here. Uh, Kevin should, should set my here, peel one off. It's tough to fold this spot because... If you hit your card, you're going to get paid. And second, if you raise and always fold to a re-raise, it really makes you exploitable down the road. Now, Pokalama is hoping that King hit hit Kevin. So this actually might be a good card for Kevin. I've never done that in my life. Some money here. The blind betting is on, man. Yeah, exactly. Pretty good flop for that bullshit, too. <laughs> 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 Woo! Aces again, so both cash and turn. I like the win, huh? I really like I like I like this place, too. Eights just pale. I was like, every time I go to Vegas, I do really well. I've pinked a few, but... I really, I think I'm more of a cat. I love cash. I love cash games. I like that instant gratification. Should have braced him blind. Would have been a blind. Snap that shit off. Six hundred. I like it. Nine of clubs will not be coming. There's a poker pro in Kenna James. Close your eyes and be like, I raised this much. It's a while ago. I think I've seen some videos on him. All right, so we have Optimize. He's going to bump this up. Ace Jack suited. Always looks pretty. Kraken has his own suited ace, the wheel variety. It's probably the one that I don't play a lot of. Ace two, ace three, ace four, ace five are more playable in my opinion. But he's gonna bump this up. Yeah. So we know, we all know that Optimize is not going anywhere. Okay, so we have it's a very, very wet board, as you guys know. Flush is there, uh, but Optimize is ahead here. 
I think this is going to go check, check. It'd be tough to crack this. Yeah. Hearing Jack. Seeing Jack. I will let you know, of course, Dana and um, Todd Brunson. I played once with him. Wait, I didn't. I don't, you know, I don't think I played with him. Thank you. I've actually seen his dad at the Bellagio in the morning. I didn't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Nature of the beast, guys. I've been doing this a while. I remember watching Doyle play. I never played with them, but they were playing this mixed game. I didn't, I didn't even understand the rules as I was watching it. You caught up in a hand. You're chit chatting. Do you know my tip code word, Russ? What's that? It's cheesecake. Cheesecake? If I forget to tip you, all you gotta do is just cheesecake. Cheese cheese. Start talking about cheesecake? Eight volt dice. Kraken has been very active for this early going. He's got some good, very playable hands here. And he wakes up with another one. So he's got his ace 10. Two bets, 35. I feel like he's played every hand. This is one of Chase's favorite hands. He's going to defend this for sure. Yeah, it's 35. 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 Yeah, it's no. <laughs> he goes to 140. <laughs> Pretty I'll decent sizing. I, I tried, man. I tried. Yeah. Nobody, oh, yeah, nobody has really anything to call. Even that yeah, ace ten is, that is way behind. He's got, he got to show the aces. Everybody's showing the aces, Kevin. We do that, or can we play the stand up game? Play the stand up. Let's do everything. Hello, Marco. Thanks for joining. All right, let's play. I hear yeah. no objections. How much the, what's the amount? Do, do, do the cameras get a... What, 25 or 50? I know that's a problem with some streams. Let's do the first one with a quarter. They can't. All right. Standing up I'm hearing a prop bet going on. I'm not sure what it is for. I think it's seven. I'm sure you're hitting to sit down and it has to win. Oh, they're doing a stand-up game. Okay. I think everybody's familiar with this. If you're not familiar with the stand-up game, everybody is, everybody, of course, everybody is standing. You get to sit down when you win the hand. And the last man standing has to pay everybody a bounty, which is typically 25 or 50 bucks. So. This could cost you four hundred and fifty or two hundred and twenty-five dollars. You gotta pay the last man standing, which means you're the last person to win a pot going on from here. You have to pay a bounty, a tax, if you will, to every other player. And so this really incentivizes people to win a hand. So you'll see a lot more bluffing, bigger raises, things like that. Kraken with a pair. You have to pay a five dollar penalty at every player if you, if you sit down early. Yeah. You just take a seat for no reason. Absolutely. You owe everybody five bucks yeah. to the table if you sit yeah. down early for no reason. Looks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Chase is turning into the table yeah. captain here. I hate taxes. And then you just like, right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking taxes. Really enjoying himself. Five playing five well, as well. Playing well as well. Yeah. Six six right. He's just playing well. Be careful. That's like right there and got some down connectivity on there with his Jack Nine suited. <laughs> chase, a couple of gappers there, and Optimize kind of with the same hand. So we're going to see four to the flop as we always typically do in these stand-up games. We'll see a lot more players to the flop. Optimize is going to it's going to flop the flush draw here, but Kraken still has the best hand. But you can see the equity is more Optimize. Six fold, eight fold. Optimize doesn't have a hand yet, but he is still favored to win because now he picks up a gut shot with his flush draw, and now he has two overs to, well, he's always had two overs to crack. And crack is going to put the max pressure on, and he's going to be the first one to sit down. You were good. He actually bluffed with the best one. Base three, eight. If that, you replace that three with that seven that came on the turn, I would have been in there. Yeah, been. when you're playing a prop game like Nine this, the sizing is going to be really important. Yeah, and the sizing like range is much up, huh? bigger. Like People aren't, players aren't really <laughs> looking for value at this point. Right, remember, you got to defend while um, you're down there. They're going to try yeah. to. 
try to sit down and not pay that tax. Twenty's live. And we got uh, we got Mike double straddling here. J Dog with the ten nines. Probably gonna raise this. Kind of a smallish raise. I know it's four X, but in Texas that would be considered a smallish raise. <laughs> He's going to bump this up to 75. Pokalama can come in with a, with a raise here. I've played with a penalty before, but I thought about it. Make it like 275, 250, something like that. Be a nice sizing. And he goes 250. Mike Bell's going to let it go. And I think G-Dog is going to call this. The thing about the stand-up game, it really, players can raise with any two cards. That's what G-Dog is might be thinking here. Well, we have a gut shot for G-Dog. Pokalamo with second pair. Oh, you guys show both? Oh, I do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In this game, you do. Yeah. You guys, I feel like you just trolled me right now. No, no, just, no, just a show. No, oh, no, no. It's, it's implied. It's oh, got it. Yeah. Yeah, we should have announced that at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I'm also, you, you show I should know. Like, yeah. Who doesn't know that, I guess? You know, I should know. Maybe you never played it, you don't know. Well, yeah. oh, okay. I guess everyone plays different, right? Everywhere I've played, it's been, you got to show yeah, both yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah I should know that. I still should know. <laughs> Especially if it's a good bluff, you know? You want to have one? <laughs> I wanted to see, like, oh, Queen 3 there. Oh. <laughs> like, that would have made me a lot happier. Bluff? <laughs> Been a monster. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, no. He, had a, he had a pair. Uh, Ace, Queen, <laughs> Queen on the flop. Uh, Turn to go. We can do better. Second pair. <clears throat> I agree. The other Tanners did it first for representing Texas poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Twofold. <laughs> Colby's yeah, been a little quiet game. and card dead these last Three few bets, minutes 60, here. G Dog is going to bump this up. 60, yeah. And this will really force players to play hands they typically I thought you were going probably for the wouldn't dude, play. I was about to <laughs> <right now>. <laughs> 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 Seven bed, going to re raise this yeah. smallest raise to 150. I actually kind of like it. He's got position on everybody. Again, you get so he's definitely chance. isolating. Uh -huh. Threefold. I don't have to shut you. I don't know. Ace 10 is not very playable when you get re raised. We should have played a lot of times, especially when you're out of position. That's what I was like. I was just saying, I'm going to go for it. G-Dog. I really wish you'd pick a different name. I don't want to say G-Dog anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pokalama, second only to Chase there. And Kevin's also showing a small profit early on. Only played for, anyway, only played 19 hands, which is about not even an hour so far. And then Mike Bell. <laughs> Kind of at the bottom, I expect him to kind of battle back. So I've seen the double straddle on a lot now. So we're effectively playing a 10-20 game. So the opening raises will be 3 to 4x. Chase is definitely playing this. He's got a couple of gappers in there. Suited cards to the queen. Five folds. Six folds. I think Chase doesn't even mind if somebody raises this as well. Are you guys buddies? I mean, we met in Vegas like three months ago. One bet, one thirty. Yeah, we met in Vegas. One thirty. Mike, love it. Mike's got a pair. He's technically ahead of everybody. He's going to raise. Chase is probably not going anywhere. If I know Chase. First game, he took like seven hundred out of it. Chase holds, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> you're the around the country to try and get your money chased back. chased him to Texas <laughs> right? to get it. I'm chasing him to Texas. As soon as you know, I'll be like, hey, ask if they have a seat. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I want I want to be here and play with him. Yeah, yeah, Five no, I, But he also wants to take your money. He does, yeah. Everyone, right? That's what we're here for. Eightfold. Optimize a little disappointed. Hey, he was just, man, I was just trying <laughs> to see a cheap flat on the button. Like you keep that one on the side. Like you I mean, you still put a 468 money. out there. Yeah, I hope we haven't spent it anywhere. <laughs> it's pretty close. One check. Five check. Is your girl watching you now right now? I think Mike's check there was trying to induce a bet from Chase, given the fact the that Mike has the overpair. Yeah. Now he's going to have to start betting this. A hundred bucks would be, would be a nice little bet there if you like to do that. I don't know if I'd want that or not want that. He doesn't know if he'd want that. Yeah, yeah, like my girlfriend like, like understands oh. poker and shit. It's very enticing to chase, right? Like a level of he feels like if he yeah, hits his yeah, two cards, yeah. he would Just win not here. Play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five calls. <laughs> Only one degen for family. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chase did him dirty like that. The flush gets there. The obvious draws, right? The flush gets there. With that check, Chase can comfortably bet for some value. I got a nine. Five checks. Am I good? It's going to be good. Nine good. Showing nine through seven. Good Chase says, I got a nine. Am I good? What's up, guys? And Chase gets to sit down. Chase, have you ever lost a stand-up game <laughs> in your life? Not that I can think of. <laughs> Not that I can think of. I'm very honest. honest. Yes, uh, I, 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 I know. Has Chase ever lost a stand-up game? Yeah, I, I really <laughs> think the stand-up game really <laughs> favors <laughs> Chase <laughs> playing star because he's already uber aggressive and plays a lot of hands. And so if you're kind of nitty or, you know, which is nothing wrong with that, if you're kind of nitty, Stand-up game is probably not going to benefit you too much unless you just run incredibly good. The nine from space. Aaron in seat nine has been really card dead, not hitting any flops. There's some good holdings here, cracking with the two broadways here. He's you know, got the jack ten, which I think is going to be like everybody's favorite hand pre-flop. And Optimize is the one who's going to raise with his ace, and he's technically ahead of everybody. But I would expect Kraken. Yep, he does. He's going to bump this up to 120. Kind of your standard. 3, 4x, 3.5x, something like that. Raise. Optimize is going to call with the best hand. Aaron says, well, if he calls now, I'm just kind of committed here. A lot of money in that pot. Nothing. Now we're 3 to the flop. <laughs> Nobody with a pair, and the ace high is still good. And when Kraken checks there, and if he had a pair, he would definitely lead out there, given he's a pre-flop aggressor. Um, but given multi-way, you could bet you could lead out there, but it's tough to take the take right. down. And <laughs> yeah. Optimize gets to sit down. I think Optimize has really changed his game. I used to consider him a year ago. Well, a little longer. You used to consider him a net. You know, very basic. I don't want to say basic, that's the wrong word. But very, you know, by the book, pre flop ranges, plays position. You know, his under the gun range is like 5% of all hands. So very, yeah, very GTO, very position ranges there. And he's really opened up his game uh, where you cannot put him on a hand no longer. So he's turning more of an exploitive player. So that's really good to see. Makes him much more dangerous. Six bet 60. I agree, kicker. I, I I normally veto prop games a lot of the times, depending on the prop game, because I don't want to be taken out of my my usual play. But it's great for the stream for sure. 
We have Optimize making a big raise here over Kevin, who they played a lot together. Colby with tens. He's, we mentioned he has been a little card dead. I wonder if he'll come in for a raise here and just try to take this down now, given the fact that it is a stand-up game. Got to put your opponents on the overs. Chase. I think Chase can lay this down. He's already sitting down, so there's nothing to worry about there. I think Kevin makes kind of a loose call here. I mean, if he was suited, it would make a lot of sense, but. <coughs> All right, so we have Colby just calling here at the tens. Guess you can go either way on this. Oh, this could get very interesting here. So we have Colby with the over pair. Kevin, he's just got some backdoor straight stuff going on. And Optimize with the nut flush draw. So we're going to see Optimize C bet this. And he doesn't need to make it big either. He can go to like 250, 225 even if he, if he wanted to. He might want a caller here to build this pot. He is already sitting down, so you can really put him on a real hand here. Kobe's not going anywhere. He could even he could even raise us if he wanted to. I really would like a raise here. If he bets, then on the if he calls, then on the turn he's only got a pot size bet, something like that. So. And he does go all in. I really like that play because you don't have to really make a decision on the. And I think I think Optimize is going to snap this off. Yeah, he does. And there we go. So so Optimize needs an ace or a diamond or runner straight. Top board is for sitting down. We're going to run it twice. Top board is for sitting down. Looks like they're going to run it twice. Kobe wins one. And he gets a straight. He somehow he somehow get a chop pot here. And that lucky is that a chop pot? No, I'm sorry. He had the bigger straight. <laughs> My bad. I apologize. They didn't forgot the tens also make a straight. So I don't remember the action. It's tough calling seven, it all in here with the nut flush draw. I mean, you're 30, so you're 30 percent, something like that, to win. And you're probably not getting the the right odds. Maybe you are, but I'd love to see more of a combo draw in that versus just the one one flush draw. But optimizes here to gamble, and we'll pay it off. We're just going to get the, the right stacks here. Please, 
25 is on. Six. Twenty-five is on. I think you have two cards. Fair enough. I'm going to give you two cards. Right on. For the right two cards, I'm going to give you two. Monstrous. Right, we have three players. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry about that. We have three players left in the standout game. It looks like. Seven fold, eight fold. Nine Four fold. players. Four players. One fold. <laughs> that Brad? Twenty-five. My twenty-five. Brad on nine. Two bet, seventy-five. Four fold, five fold. What's that? You want to sit down with that bag? And six fold. <laughs> 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 call my bag. I kind of do. Like, yeah, you do want to sit down. Three check. Check. Six check. Two check. Three bet, 200. Uh, no defense, no defense. <coughs> That's him. Mm -hmm. I need to sit down. He's in there with three. Another player sits down. <clears throat> I think G-Dot was hoping to get called out. He had top hair, top kicker. That really, in the stand-up game, if you're still standing, that really incentivizes you to bluff. So he was hoping he would get called by some second pair or some middling pair or something like that. Couldn't pay 200 for how long y'all have to stand, you know? Yeah. We have four players around that 3K mark I have ready here. Mm -hmm. Seven fold, eight fold. A little over an hour. One fold. Open the blanket on the turn. Two fold. Two sitters going at it. Three fold. Yeah, y'all get the hell out of the pot. Come on, dude. Yeah, I got to get in there. I kept it cheap enough for you. Yeah, no, no. That's a good call. Appreciate you. <laughs> Three players. Aaron's been really quiet tonight. But he does flop a pair here. And he's actually good. But Chase does have a gut shot, which means he's not going anywhere. <laughs> With his back door, it's a great flush draw as well. What do you want to do? Nine bet, 40. So he goes less than half pot here. Ouch, kicker. Sorry about the four. I've actually never seen anybody roll a four before. All right, so no more additional equity for Chase, although Aaron still has a pair here. Nine bet, 150. Went better a little bit bigger this time. The board got a little bit more straight here. More that was a jack of diamonds. If it was a jack of diamonds. Ah. King six. No, you got a, you got a pair. Let me dominate. I knew it was necessary. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, is a bomb pot. Up, please. And bomb pot. Bomb pot number three just, here. So can we sit like down during the bomb pot? The oh. oh. Kevin actually yeah. asking yeah. a legitimate question. Guys, can we, we sit him? down the during the bomb pot? The answer would be no. He just yeah. talked about a five dollar <laughs> five dollar penalty if you did that. Now bomb pots don't count for stand up. 
They don't? No, no, no. definitely not. Yeah. All right. So if you need to take a, take a rest, it's fine. If you are you fold your back up. It's just a $5 penalty. As long as they don't shut up, it's fine, right? Whatever. All I'm asking is that if you do stand up, please try to shoot your arms. Like I said earlier, this game is stacked with really talented poker players. I'm looking forward to this one for sure. Still have 151 in this chat. Thank you guys. Y'all want to let the bomb count if they scoop it? Let us know stadiums. you appreciate the stream. Y'all in for that? I think you deserve it at that point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I know we're the TCH Austin. If one of the two standing guys scoops it, they can sit down. Pretty soon. Y'all in for that? Sure. All right, all right, it's in. All right, so we, we got the two flops here in this bomb pot. So we're gonna see if anybody has an eight. Eight, eight seven would be a nice, yeah. nice Check. hand to have in your four card PLO holdings. Seven best fifty. We do see poker along with the nut flush draw with pocket aces. Pretty strong. I do see an 8-7 right off the bat. So Aaron with the 8-7. He should definitely pot this up. Although it's a good hand. It's, it's a drawing hand on, on one board. And he only has trips. He loses to 8-5 in pocket fives, of course. And that's going to change on the turn. Aaron does pot this. Kraken poker with the flopped boat himself. That's what I'm talking about. And a pair. So right now Kraken's ahead of Aaron, although Aaron has a better draw on top. And also Kraken has the diamonds as well. Queen high. <laughs> the diamonds get there. The clubs get there. Kraken's not worried about that as he has the flush. One of these spots, I think. I think Kraken can comfortably bet. He's got at the second nut flush draw on one board. And he's got a boat on the other board. So it's what you want in bomb box. You want to have something on both boards. Aaron's in a tough spot, right? Because now if he hits it straight on one board, it's still not going to be any good. He just has the eight. So he's going to need a friend, whether that's a king, queen, or seven. Queen would be disastrous because you're going to actually get quartered here with the same boat on uh, one board. I still don't think I'm good. I would have had the nut flush bottom board. But paired board. Shea still leading the way. Right. And Colby also with that double up with his 10. Second in chips, followed by Poker Lama. Two dogs yeah, yeah, yeah. showing this very really small. Last guy stated? Oh. Optimus <laughs> and Mike <laughs> Bell are two uh, regulars for the most part. Okay, for down. him to win, two or is he the last one standing? Each. So, so, so okay, my bet? Mike will sit down. sit down. All right. Uh, you hit Chase as we thought is leading well. That's a little light for him at 47%. Oh, and then we have Mike Bell at 14%. So, he usually plays a little few more hands so than that. Cool. You have him sitting first. Yeah. So I have him sitting first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm for you. One fold. I, I clarified because the other day I did this, and the guy was like, no, I won. I was like, no. <laughs> Thankfully, the guy in the seats of the riot was like, no, man, I'm like, I guess we're taking the guy that's in the blinds. Colby's on the button with a pair. Probably uh, going to bump this up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four bets, 
35, and you're in the small. You're in the small for two. The 10 is going to stay. Let's see. There you go. You're good. All right. Kevin with aces again. This is the fourth time we've seen aces tonight. Kevin is licking his chops. He is standing. And if he raises, he should raise really big here. Just, just so he can sit down and avoid the tax. But um, <laughs> he doesn't bet big here. I bet like 35, right? Now I have to stay in. I need to protect yeah. my 25 bucks right now. 25 bucks. <laughs> Get two you, got, you, got, you got more money on this. <laughs> <laughs> you got more money on this than there's the 10. Those 225, that's a really big bet. Tough for anybody oh, to man. call. So one down. But given the fact that he's standing, it looks like, oh, he's going to get called. It looks like he's just trying to buy his way out of the stand-up game. He's going to get called by the five. I wish I could. The five is going to hit the flop. No? He wants it $700, like one quarter at a time, all right? All right, we are heads up. So you want your money back a quarter at a time? Yeah, exactly. That flop is definitely going to favor Kevin's range, although Colby did raise it as well pre-flop. Kevin is 1.6 behind. I'd like to see a full pot size bet here. He looks like he likes to go small. I apologize. I cannot see the chips. I don't know what the colors are. They're a little different. We just got new chips there. Kevin's going to sit down with his aces. Oh, He's got aces twice now. Wow, yes. <laughs> Insurance. <laughs> Wake up with a monster. Yeah. Yay. Oh, wow. Great spot if he gets it. Randy, you're talking you. about yeah. cruising. Yeah. And I, I get seasick a lot. Yeah. I use those a lot of them. I've like done the cans. But I've also done those little <laughs> patches that you put behind your ear. And I never got seasick after that. Um, you have to put them on like the day before you go cruising so your body gets used to it. But, no, you would have got Incredible. Like, wait. So there's a question about the difference between five card pillow and four card pillow. I don't play a lot of five card pillow. Every now and then we'll run a mixed yeah, game here if it gets played well. enough. Right. I would say it's five card pillow. Play the nuts. Uh, <laughs> play the nut draws. Uh, there is zero bluffing in five seven, card pillow that I've seen. But I'm sure what, it does 20, happen. All right, Kraken ahead. wakes up with the King Jack here. He's getting some really good hands, good starting well, hands here. Very playable. Yep. Like he could even like to come in for a raise at this spot. 60, 65, something like that. It, it, it's on unless there's no objections. I'm confused. What are you, what are you saying? Uh, if you someone win? wins with seven deuces. Seven, seven deuces. Deuce oh, oh, the classic you seven deuces. Yeah. Oh, two bets. Oh, I thought you I heard. With the deuce yeah, seven. I know what that is. It's just like someone complicated. Everybody's yeah. at the 40. I guess, it, I guess the double shuttle wasn't three. on. If you win three, three flops, flops or flop, like, like, who cares how you call. win if you win with seven deuces? Yeah. I would just ask you, because sometimes only one flop. The wheel draw there. He's going to just kind of call this. He's going to chase it. As well, but Chase will call a re-raiser with his King-10. Very playable. All right, we just have to make sure and confirm it with him. He's the only one who's not at the table. Seven deuce games? 25? Yeah, he could be on. Yeah, seven call, eight call. Yeah, if Kobe raises there, he could have isolated a little bit more. As it stands, we're going to go five way to the flop here. 187 in the middle. Counts his hand, right? Starts his hand. There's a button on me. I'm going to see a nine here. Nobody with a nine. Oddly enough, ace high is, is in the lead multi way here. Two check. Four check. Five check. Well, that third nine comes. Ace high still. Oh, I'm so sorry. Optimize has a four. He's got, so he's got a boat here. But Pogalama's going to take a stab at it. Probably be an easy call here. Four Optimize as. He's got to feel pretty good about the three nines there as well. You would think if somebody had a pair, they would have bet the flop. 
And by the way, this is exactly what a nine would do. Just call. I don't think. Oh, Pokalama gets there on the river with the better boat. He could do lots of things, right? He could. He's going to have to bet for value here, or he could make it look bluffy. If he bets for value, I think Optimize could actually get away from him. He bets for. He's polarizing himself and overbets the pot. Optimize could find a call here. Seven bet, three thirty-five. See what size he goes with. I can't really tell. He goes for three thirty-five, so kind of in between, really. There you go. Pokalama with another. Nice pot. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is uh, Dante Poker, at Dante Poker. I just want to get to 1,000 followers. I think that's my goal. I'm way off from that, but that would be pretty awesome. All right, Kraken's got, a, got an ace here. Raise, Ooh. Ooh, this is an interesting play here. He, he can't think his A7 is good here, so he's going to like to come in for a raise. Play the player here a little bit. Tough spot for Kevin Bell, though he, uh, he is on the button here. Tough fold. I think you'd like to see him call this. Obviously, we can see the cards, but he's clean. Yeah, he's gonna call. He's clean. is just too strong here to fold the aggression. Talked about it earlier. How that might might leave you a little exploitable down the road, but I think both both plays would have been fine. And crack is gonna outflock him. He's got a pair. Got showdown value, but you might not like it too much. Two check. Kevin should take Six his three check. card. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's dead to a queen right now. Two check. Yeah, it's going to be tough now for Kevin to rep that jack. He's going to start betting here, but you think with giving the free flop action. He had a jack. This is what Kraken was probably thinking. If he had a jack, he would have bet the flop. As Kevin was last time. Six bet, two seventy-five. Two 
this pot has ballooned up to over $1,200, with one player only having a third gift. Oh, and the Miracle Queen on the river. This will be check. The flush did get there. This might go check back here by, by Kevin, although I'd like to see him go for some thin value in that $500 range, but again, one pair. That obvious flush got there, so I, yeah, he's just gonna check it out. Very good river, thank you. I'm gonna put Kevin up in fourth place as far as winning. He's at 742 now. It was the wrong color. Couldn't bet on. Thank you, thank you. Looks like we stopped the double straddle for this hour. <laughs> How often do you guys rotate dealers? Two hours. Two hours. About two hours. First spring. Kevin, bring him back. Uh, yeah, so I start yeah. the stream for about two hours, two minutes, and then the other one comes in, he finishes it out. The game still runs afterwards, but the stream is four hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two pulls. If he has to go potty at any time, it's fire. That is, I mean, diapers. <laughs> four bet at 35. <laughs> Five pulls. Everybody six pulls. Chase is in there. He's going to call yeah, Colby's for a little setup underneath the table just drains out. <laughs> Six fold, seven fold, eight fold, a catheter. nine fold, one call. Well, Mike's going to call with his ass. So three way to the flop. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Wrong way. You won it, Andrew. All right, three players. Four bet, fifty-five. Five fold, one fold. Second, thank you. Ten, please. You're done with me already, that's what it is? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know how this all works. Nah. So typically, like, in the regular room over here, yeah, it's like every 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah. But at the stream, we don't, since it's broadcasting, you don't want to just keep getting up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I only have nine loyalty points. Yeah. Clearly doing something, something wrong. Well, we got to flop out cards, all these things, so... Less hands. You're 10. Yeah. You try to get the 100 hands. Correct. Threefold, fourfold. I do it today. Just messing with you. Eight bet, 65, seven, sorry, five bet, 65, six fold, seven fold, eight fold, nine fold. I was way off. It's an eight. We got Chase raising it. Yeah, we've seen pocket pins yet again. This one's from Mike here. One bet, 250. I like to see Mike raise this up. Give an opportunity to isolate Chase. Can. He does. He does. Well, raise it up. It's two fifty. Right? It's really good size. Good thing, right? it's it's cold it's cold. Cold. <laughs> no, it's cold in here too. Oh, in general. <laughs> Although Chase does love to see flops, this would be a tough, tough call for him. Especially, it looks like he is first to act too. So, and if he hits his jack or king, it still may not be good. And what do you do there? So. Hello, Mr. Lottie. How you doing, William? I'll have to get your WSOP schedule, and we can meet up. Although I'm not playing any of your Knicks games. <laughs> oh, you did against me. You made an $800 bet. Yeah. 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 
that was just on, on the fly. I should have remember. No, that was on the river. Yeah. Two five. And the, and the draws got there, but I couldn't fall. Obviously. William, you should make your way back here. We have new chips on the felts. Fourfold. Threw me off there for a second. Poker Llama here. Suited 10 7. Blood Gapper's here. It's only, it's gonna almost min click this up. 25. Aaron just falls. Now cracking with pocket queens. He is going to get a call, and that's going to bring in Aaron. You've seen his spot before with him. Induction. <laughs> a raise, a call. Like and he is now priced in, especially the set line here. Three players. Instead, Kraken's the one that was set mining, and he pops his, drills his queens there. He's going to lead out, too, as almost any one of his hands in his range, his, his bet pre flop is going to lead out. Unfortunately, nobody has anything remotely. Tech? Tech? Texas Tech. Oh, you went to school there, right? Yeah, I did. Um, I should. I should. Really? 325. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you said, you said that you were going to go the other way. Bracken gets a raise from Poker Llama. This is interesting. He is banking on the fact that he didn't hit that board at all. Kraken, I expect Kraken to just a smooth call this, although there is a potential straight out there, a straight draw. I'd still like to see him just call this. A call and then a check on the, whatever the turn is. Yeah. Given the fact that the stack pot ratio is almost one to one here for Kraken. Now it's less than one to one. Mike, I expect Kraken to check this. Have his opponent fire. We've seen these two battle early on. Well, Poker Llama is probably not betting out. He did pick up some. You pick up some equity here with, with the nine hits. And he's gonna bet that. Now, nine ten does get there an obvious the obvious draw. Kraken might have just have to go all in here. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It doesn't have a lot behind it. You don't have seven deuce. You don't have seven deuce. Okay, let's Guarantee you. I think they are playing the seven deuce game as well as, <laughs> as Poker Llama said. There's so much in the pot. It's only 424 to call to win 2100. He has to hit his nine, so he's like. 12 to 15 percent, something like that. Probably a little less. So one out of 10, make one out of five. So he's not really getting quite, quite the. Yeah, you could still gamble here. I think he's really just worried about saving face here. 824. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a loose 
just that night. Yeah, I think Crackman was really worried about the straight. Could have been since he didn't have much behind him. That check, that the check all in was really meant to really induce Poker along with him to do exactly what he did. You don't have seven dudes. I don't. Yeah, I know you don't. Because I fucking block seven dudes. Because I fucking block seven dudes. That's why you don't have seven dudes. I had enough of the Set a queen? Seven queen. Kraken really got max value. You're bluffing me, Lama? Oh, he has a nuts. What Pogalama was holding. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Mm, okay. So, well done okay. by him. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All that Hollywood and you should have known. You just found a Hollywood and you did on the clock. No, they're your chips, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. He, did, he didn't show, William. He was just saying, I know you don't have seven deuce because they're all playing the seven deuce game. I just think that kind of play might might, might lead him to be a little Exploded. exploitable down the road. Optimize just card dead tonight. And so is so is Mr. Mike B. Kraken looks up with a couple suited Broadway cars. I don't know why I like King Jack suited so much. Kobe's going to flop a, a weird two pair, top and bottom. Nobody has anything else. Optimize backdoor combo draws, I suppose. Cracking with the two overs. For 60, I don't think it would be a bad call, seeing as how you just won practically a double up on the last hand. But he's going to let that go. Four, raise, 160. Kobe's gonna, he has a check raise, and it's the smallest check raise. 60 to 160, a little light. It's really intended for his opponent, who had an over pair since he was a pre-flop aggressor, pre-flop raiser, to call or even re-raise. Optimize able to sniff that what one. Was that? All right, let me ask you guys a question. For me, my only vice, my biggest vice, is sugar free, sugar free energy drinks. Bang, Monster, sugar free Red Bull. You guys in the chat, do you guys drink any? Um, you guys drink any uh, energy drinks? And what's your favorite? Yeah, he has posted on now. Yeah. William, you've got to drink a lot. You're, you play poker on the road a lot. You play you play tournaments, which is a grind. Cash games just get up, but <laughs> tournaments is a grind. You've got to play, you've got to drink a lot of energy drinks. Hey Frank, how are you? Poker monkeys in here. JTM. Delighted. He's been playing it the whole time. I can tell you I'm a big fan of the sugar free monster. Six fold, seven fold, eight fold, nine fold. Yeah. Mike's going to wake up with eight to do. You know what? Whatever he wants. Let's bump this up. Just like you. Kraken is a sweet king. He's also got the button. I feel like Kraken's always on the button. Where are my cards? Some of the cards are your cards. What? Closer to my age than his. Two fold. That guy's. Your cards got mingled with someone else's cards. Having to play this. Wants to see a flop with that. Yeah. So I can think he's alright. I figured William, you, you would be I'll drinking you energy drinks. I don't know why I was thinking that. I can't have any kind of sugary sodas. I used to drink. I used to drink. God, I used to drink. Four fold. Pepsi, you know, two six packs a day. <laughs> when, I was, uh, when I was working. Heads up. All right, we got one over for Mike there. We're gonna see a donk lead here from the G Dog here. I'm gonna rep that top here. Hopefully, that's good. 
going to go about half pot. Good call by Mike. You never fold second pair effectively here. Yeah, when Mike Bell calls him <coughs> on the flop here, it's really going to be tough for G Dog to get him off anything. There's no obvious draw, there's no flush draw. Okay, so but he does. He does get him off the hand. So, yes, the cards got thrown onto did, them, yeah, and I put in. Trying to say, yeah, he didn't even have a gun. Decipher which ones are yours before they actually got back around to you. So, they all got so, do I get two new cards in that situation? Because the hand's already been dealt out, and there's already been significant action. Two, five, ten, please. Weird. So typically, I'm going to leave them out there until the action is to you. Like I said, one William, of yes. Uh, well, you have been away too long, first of all. So hurry on. Secondly, they they have new they have new decks now for the stream. They're smaller. They're like they're the, they're the same size as regular decks. And so they don't have fire in them, so they're able to, it's much easier to to deal with them. They also have new chips. So we have uh, new chips as well starting to get made for the last one. The new deck started a couple of weeks ago. All right. Boko Lama wakes up with his suited broadways. He's, he likes to always choose these smaller sized raises, especially when he's in early position, which I don't mind at all. Because oftentimes it's going to be a re-raise. I think that's probably happened 100% of the time. And so it's going to keep, it's going to control the pot there because he definitely wants to see a pop in. You can't just bump in with that, that sort of hand. And he gets that. Aaron's going to bump this up to 75. And then we have, we have Kraken with 225. Now we've seen Kraken and Poker Llama kind of battle out a few times here. And he's going to lay down his Queen Jack. I think if he had better position on his opponent, he might want to see a pop there as it is. He's technically a cold four bet, but it's really more like a three bet. <laughs> hey, I, I saved like 25 bucks there. Right? I'll take it. <laughs> well, Mr. Lottie, let me have to coordinate something as far as the WSOP goes. It'd be nice to get some ECA <laughs> folks out there playing some tournaments. Um, kind of do my first World Series poker. I am going to play some tournaments. But again, like I said earlier, I'm really there for the cash games. <laughs> Um, there's that, that $1,500. There's a couple of tournaments that I, I like, to, like to play. Eight fold, nine fold, one fold, two fold, three fold, four fold. Best, Nobody else with a energy drink fetish, I guess. A fetish, that's the right word. I'm always curious, you know. I mean, there's, there's a whole row at HEB of virtual dedicated energy drinks, so I know. I know people do drink. And, uh, again, my favorite is the monster. I should have played monster ones. Oh, like way too much. So All right, Chase still leading the way, although he's been kind of quiet the last 45 minutes to an hour. He was off to a really hot start. Very great looking. Let let me know if you can't if if my volume is good for you guys. I can barely hear the table chatter myself. It's kind of the opposite. Chase is going to elect to, to use the queen eight suitor for a raise here. Six ball. Kevin's just going to call this. Poker Llama has a suited queen of his own. Yeah, these chips are, I was shuffling them earlier, and they're, yeah, they're very, um, you know, what's the word? Clanky? <laughs> 
Jason's definitely going to outflop everybody here. Poke along with some back doors, and Kevin just got the two over, so I always expect Chase to see bet this most of the time. But that flop's really not his range, or it shouldn't be his, being the pre flop aggressor shouldn't be his range. But yet it is, so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the chips do feel different. I can say that. Although I've only played with them once. They're, they're, they're so brand new. Okay, I think Poke Lama had some, some intentions on bluffing on the next streets. Now he picked up some equity in the draw here. He'd prefer that to be a seven of clubs. But, so any 10, any five will give him a straight. I don't think he's going anywhere. And Chase is going to use a very small sizing here. Feels like a little bit of a blocker bet. This may induce Pokalama to raise, which I think he will and should. He goes close to full pot size here. Given the connectivity of the board, I don't, as far as the straight goes. Mind Chase folding in this spot. Although, as we can see, he's way ahead. I will give that feedback to production about the, the chip noise. I can hear it as well. All right, we're off to another bomb pot here. Your fifth bomb pot? Weird turn. It's an eight. It's an eight. We need eight diamonds. Ten's the bomb pot? Oh, sorry. I'm going to let you guys enjoy this pop. I, I just got to step out for a moment, get a beverage, and I will be back in a few. Thanks. That's what I'm not saying. You don't see it anyway.
All right, thank you guys for being patient. I just had to go pick up a, uh, a beverage. I'm thirsty here. All right, let me know if I missed anything. I know I missed that bomb pot. What I do see is Aaron with the nut plus draw. And a set by Kraken. This could get interesting. And of course, Chase is in there with a gutter. Aaron's going to raise this. That is such a heat. And Aaron, Aaron has not gotten out of line at all. Played kind of snug. Hasn't got any cards to do it with. But Kraken is loving this, right? He's got the second nuts. He only loses the pocket nines. I don't know what the pre-flop action is. But I think Kraken is going to bump this up. There is a flush draw out there. He's going to call. I think I'd like to see a raise there from him. Really disguising his hand well. And Aaron, they're going to do it twice. Aaron's going to miss on both there. Kraken's going to win fifteen hundred dollars. Let's get full double up. Why is it a double up there? Wow, they yeah, played that really well. Very disguised. So bomb pot wasn't too interesting. You know, I don't know if you're experienced this, William, but the bomb pots on the stream tend to be much more tamer than they are <laughs> off the stream. Nice play by Kraken. That play by Aaron would have worked on any other hand but a set, obviously. So can't really blame him for trying, and he still was live to, some, to the clubs there. 
Colby likes to use the king eight as a raise. Semi, semi bluff. Hopefully take it down now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But still, I just every time I play poker and you play a bomb pot, it feels like it's a three way all in every every bomb pot. G Dog is going to re raise. He's going to three bet this. That is really strong. Something that Kobe probably probably can't call. I All right, I have ten points. This is this is a gamble all situation for me. <coughs> I mean, I've never won. Never won. Not if I'm bluffing. I don't even think I did that. <laughs> Lost again. You three bet three. You three bet three. I call. I raise that shit too. You three bet three. It goes three ways. That hits my range. You can't have a shit. But you had it. You know you had it. Ten, please. Of course, William, you show me how it's done. Kevin's bumping this up here. I think poker along with, yeah, he's just going to call. I know, I, I, I've i actually never won. That's why I have zero points all the time. Nobody with anything here. Kevin's going to use aggression and range advantage with the king. Here. He's going to go ahead and take that that pot down. He's out in the room getting my beverage. Uh, the room is hopping. I think we have five five tables going on from one two to two five, and then we have our Monday night PLO tournament. We have two, uh, two three tables of that, or two tables of that. It's a $60 buy-in tournament. You can re-enter. It's not a rebuy, but a re-enter. No add-ons. It's a 2K guarantee, so fun little PLO tournament. Hey, you know those aren't free, right? You know those aren't free, right? I know. Sorry, Baller. I'm just saying. He's a big ball. Yeah, right? <laughs> Sorry, Baller. I'm just saying. 20 is on. Chase with aces again. Now, Chase, this is the second time he's had aces, and I believe this is the fifth aces we've seen. And I think they've held up every time. So he's going to bump this up. Is that a min raise? Is there a straddle? There's 10. I see 10 right there. Maybe not a straddle. It was. It is a min raise. Kind of dangerous. Hoping someone would pop that. Now he's very disappointed to go multi-way with this. G Dog's in. That's a nice flop for G Dog. And Colby also flops up there. So G Dog not only has a combo draw, so he has the flush draw, but he has an open ended straight. He has an open ended straight and a straight flush draw. So the seven of clubs, which he's not going to get because Colby has. You just got to look at it. It's a small price to pay. Two call, four, sorry, three call, four. The straight gets there. Unbelievable. 
I think you'd much rather have the straight than the flush get there. Wow. Wow. So he's got the second nut so far. Chase needs out for 120. He's going to repop. Are you just going to call? Oh, you re-raised. Good dude raised. Oh, 300. 450. I think Chase needs a. He does know, but I think he's got to realize that these, that turn, that flop is going to favor G Dog a lot more. Now, G Dog does not like that jack. Neither does Chase. Although it's a good card for Chase because it's. Maybe he doesn't get more money into this pot because the opponent could have raised with a jack in his hand thinking it was good. <laughs> But I still think G Dog has got to get some value here. If he checks, it's just going to go check checks. So I think around 600 would be a nice, nice little wager, something that Chase could call with an overpair. What is up, Michael? How are you? Thanks for hopping in. Make sure you hit that like button too. Body, I have actually never Fine won. Check, check. Fine check. Show it out. See, that's that's okay. why that's why I think he should have bet there. But I, I understand that he didn't because of the, the board pairing. I'm serious, Lottie. When I when I when I two years ago when I started playing, I, I've never won. <laughs> I've never won a roll. <laughs> I've, I, I've always had got up to ten bet lost ten bet lost. <laughs> All right. Kraken has come down or gone up. Sorry. Chase has gone down to 1.2. Colby is now past Chase in the uh, cumulative winnings there. The G Dog now over that 1K mark. So. Thanks. Nice to have it. You, I think fold. you were due. <laughs> It's been a while. I don't think you've won like a big hand right now. Big one, small one. Small one. Uh, Poker llama. We've seen eights a lot here. So. Seven bet, seventy-five. Eight fold, nine fold, one fold. Two fold, three fold, four fold. <coughs> <laughs> I think, I mean, we are 15 minute delay. And I think I will be popping in when I got my drink. I did pop into the table and say hi. It's like Kraken was doing an interview almost. Chase with the 10-7 uh, suited. Always a favorite. Nobody's going to hit that flop. Chase is going to give this to call. Mike goes for a huge over bet as relative to the pot there. It's going to get 200, of course. Chase cannot call. Two, five, two, three. 
No. This should be coming in here in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Are you commentating the whole game? Yeah. Well, not right now. What's going on right now? Well, not right now. No, it doesn't right now. Say hi. Oh, hey. He's got oh, that. Hey. You were an autopilot. I told him I was stepping out to get a drink. Viewers, uh, your account's at about seven right now. <laughs> again. Your girl, my mom. I know, right? <laughs> Eight fold, nine fold. One bet, 35. Two fold. Three fold. Yet again, we see eights. So eights, aces, ten, seven. Suited has been, been a popular hand tonight. Amy Jack, ten. So we got them all up right here. This would be interesting. Everybody has each other's outs. <laughs> Close to the same hand. We have eights and nines. Tens and the jack there. So this would be an interesting flop. I'd like to see eight, nine. Six, something like that would be, would be fun. Instead, we get to that flop. So nines are still in the lead here. Check. Can't be feeling too good about what that came out there. The one that's going to fire out this. Six fold, one fold. It's the nines to fold. And we've seen a lot of kings too. Wish you could see these big hands crashing into each other. So we got him. Ra we got Mike raising the 35. He's down, so he's kind of full buy-in. So let's see if he can get some of that back here. Chase is going to call with a3 suited. Good for him. That's going to bring in Poker Llama, as this is not what an optimize also calls. This is not what Mike wanted to see. Now, Pokemon does pick up a gut shot here. Nobody with a queen. And Chase with a, he's got, he's got bottom pair. Might be good enough for a call here, especially for only $50. Five raised, 165. And Chase is gonna raise this up. This feels like Chase just has a queen here. Queen 10, queen jack, something like that. Something that probably couldn't be raised. Pre flop. One 
I'd like to see a heart here or something that Chase could continue comfortably. Oh, that would be the card that he could continue comfortably. And it's tough to put anybody on a three and have get get raised like that. And Chase automatically checks. Oh, I thought he checked. He's going to bet this out. He's going to bet half pot, I would imagine. A little bit more, maybe. Let's see what he chooses for sizing. I think it goes almost full pot here, 420. Mike felt like he was good on the flop. If he felt like he was good on the flop, he certainly can't expect that three to help his opponent, but it does. <laughs> Mike is just really running into it right now. Chase is thinking his opponent has a queen. He doesn't know he's even stronger, but it doesn't matter unless another king comes. That's going to slow down the action here. Although you can't put Chase on ace queen because he wasn't re raised pre flop. Mike checks. Let's see what size he goes with here. Pot's already at 1,300. Oh, I really do like that size. A little over half pot there, 720. And the pot is now at 2K. So Mike's got to risk 2K to win. Or he's got to risk 700 to win his 2K. One, one out of three. And I think he's right one out of three times. That ace really screwed up Chase's action there. I think this would be a snap call if if the ace doesn't come on the on the river there. Because if Chase was somehow bluffing, which he's capable of, or if he had a six with an ace, ace six now, makes a lot of sense. So that's the one card Chase did not want to see. What's that? Uh, one I don't know. I'd like that all of it. Can you show one now? Sure I can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, what's what's the big stack? Seven uh, uh, What's the big stack right now? Eighteen hundred. Thirty-six. Nice pot, Chase. Kyle is in the chat. Welcome, Kyle. All right, guys. This month, time. Thank you all very much, everybody. Much appreciate every single All right, we are going to have another bomb pot, number six, I believe, or seven. Sorry, we have seven bomb pot. This is our dealer change bomb pot. Somebody showed it, right? What? Somebody showed it, right? Yeah. What quads did we do? Here? What do you show? Show the three. Oh. Yeah, uh, legs still fucked up, huh? Uh, yeah. Buttons right, C6. <coughs> I'm adding two. Yeah. Getting better yesterday. So Chase plays 8 3 suited against Pocket Kings. And of course, he drills trips on the turn. That is a skill I wish I could learn. <laughs> Yes, Kyle, I said skill. <laughs> Go. 
Bomb pot, so here's the flop. Look for the, uh, the nuts first. So 810 will be the nuts, and then we're gonna see a diamond flush draw out there. Poker Llama with his top set again with the aces on the bomb pot. Don't see 810. Queen 10, up and downer there. It misses, now the board pairs on both boards. Kevin does have a seven. But really nothing on the bottom, just a pair of eights, which is third best. Sorry, it was Aaron with the uh, set of aces on top. Well, he's actually pretty much got the nuts there with the boat on the bottom. Good to see Aaron win a pot there. So you're playing a PLO, you're playing 5-5 five five PLO. Is the bomb pots a $10 bomb pots or is it 25 Mike's gonna wake up with tens again. Mike's gotten some really good starting hands here. Just been unlucky. Ace nine doesn't even call. Aaron is going to defend his straddle. Oh, he's gonna, oh no, this is a cool, wow, this is gonna be a rough one. Mike Bell with middle set, Aaron with up and, he's got, oh, he's, he's got, got two pair. Aaron thinks he's Tempting, ahead, but, yeah, really and why wouldn't you think that? A three would be devastating. He's down to a queen. The pot is really small, given the fact these two big hands clashing. Yeah, Mike's gonna go full pot size here. The board got more more draws than I with the hearts. Oh, quads. <laughs> this is actually gonna help Aaron as he's now counterfeited two pair. His three is no longer good. He has queens and tens with a six kicker. So any queen he most likely loses to. Well, he does lose to. <sighs> Yeah, I'd normally ask. I called my uh, wife because she needed something, and I told her, told her to order me something. You've got a show oh, quad, Mike. Right? Take Uber off, eh? Yeah, <laughs> she Uber eats. I'm, I'm a big rush, babe. Oh, like oh, we got both. Yeah, they're Canadian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. You can be in a third Combo. place and deliver food from. You can That's be at C yeah. and deliver from A to B. Yeah. That was like uh, your era of music. Oh, hell yeah. 70s, baby. Oh, yeah. The best rock and roll. You can get your girl to do that. That's when you, that's when you just slide that thing right on. While she was giving my kid a bath. Yeah, that, 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 I mean, that river really, really saved Aaron. I mean. I, uh, I felt like I was stretching it with the but I was like, I'm going to go for it. That's true love, man. That's true love. Cracking a pair of eights. Again, we've seen... We've seen a pair of eights a lot tonight, more than I've ever seen. Eights and aces. We've seen a lot of pairs. 
instead of bougie. Yeah. I mean, we got we got trailer parks, man. We got it all. We got, we got whatever you're looking for. It's yeah, too bougie a, for you. I can shores. find something that'll that'll work for you. Patchy Shores. We know who's so gonna yeah. kind of look him oh, yeah. up here. Yeah. Again, yeah. we've seen Kraken yeah. and Poker. Yeah. I'm bluffing every time. Battle it out. Let's get it like on. Uh, you got trailer action. You got Lake. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 <laughs> Gonna flop a queen here. Poker Llama takes the lead. Poker's been a little bit more aggressive than Kraken. I think I'm gonna go Thursday. I'm gonna. If, if the field still looks good by Saturday, I'll still I'll go Saturday probably. Actually, I say that no, I'm I'm screwed you don't up. Believe me, it's okay. I'm golfing on Saturday, so. I have you. I don't have you. Um, but no, maybe Friday. Oh, I was about to say, looking for that miracle aid, and there it is. That is the action card, and he checks it over. They're almost the relative nuts here. He's going to get Poker Llama to continue telling his story, which he does have top hair. This is why you raised me because you have me. This is the last year. I've gone every year. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite area to hang out at? Love just to see a smooth call Man, right here. Um, number 12 is a really cool freaking hole. Um, you might like to raise, Yeah, they're hitting the tee shots over the water. Okay some, of them go, one time. some of them go for the green, some of them go for the fairway. But they're hitting it over the water. And the deal is going to Poker Lama said it's okay to lose one time. And he is going to raise it to 500. Tough spot. Tough spot for Poker Lama. He's going to He's going to call. Um, I think the table pop oh, 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 uh, reverse there. No, yeah, yeah, but I do, I do mark it at 12 pair. where they're coming down the hill. Yeah, because I think that that approach shot onto that green is pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. Kraken's going to have to bet here. Yeah. I would go with the same bet, 500. Well, Kraken goes all in here. Over pot size. Which is going to put Poker Llama all in. Yeah, Kyle, we're seeing some some big hands here. I'm actually surprised. We have seen players get felted, but I'm actually surprised it's not happening more often. Yeah, he's trying to make it. Obviously, he's trying to make it look like a bluff here. Um, the only problem is a lot of Kraken's bluffs might contain a king. So many hands that Poker Llama loses to. You could take 5-7 out. That's never going to be there. He even loses to other queens. Yeah, this is going to be a fold here. Maybe... Maybe Kraken has sevens here, nine, some, something kind of ambitious, but that's when you start talking yourself into a call. <laughs> we haven't seen Kraken get out of line really at all.
Goodbye. Ogre Llama makes the call. I am really surprised on that one. He must have really put him on a a bluff. I mean, no, I'm gonna look at, there's no obvious draws that missed. No flush, no. That's it. It's just uh, incredibly ambitious. What do you think about that, Mr. William Lottie? <laughs> That's almost as never a bluff in that spot. So I come think. all the way here to see us. At least they just stack each other. Three. I don't think he calls the ace queen. No, no, he's not calling the ace queen. Probably ace queen. Another freaking set. Yeah, third set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last three I play. Kyle, did you like that play? <laughs> I'm probably folding on the turn when that $500 comes out. Because my, my queen is almost uh, always dead. But that's just me. And like I said before, there's no, no really a true way or right way to play. You play however you want to play. But I just, just feel like it's never a bluff there. Yeah, William, that's a lot of that's a lot of belief, <laughs> which um, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like some players don't like to get bluffed. Um, I have no problem getting bluffed if that happens. Um, I don't know. But anyway, we're off to the next hand chase with the over pair, which is funny with pair of sixes on the turn, still an over pair. Got Kevin in there with two over cards. I need to spike this, but. Given the fact that the board is now paired, and Kevin just, goes, okay. just dumps this. <coughs> now, don't make, don't get me wrong. I've hero called and been wrong plenty of times for huge pots, so I know it. It happens, um, especially against players who have the reputation or have the ability to make huge bluffs in certain lead spots in the right direction. with cards that kind of connect together yeah. with the draws. But that, that that king didn't connect with anything, so I don't know how bluff was going to work. <laughs> Chase lays down a suited queen. And Kevin's got ace jack here. He's going to bump this up. I wonder if we're in a double straddle here. Makes it 60, which if it's just a single straddle, it's kind of small. Yeah, we are in a double straddle, so it makes a total sense there. G Dog's not going to defend, and neither is Kobe. Brennan, thank you for joining us again. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you can join us next Oh, you have the cruise next week. That's right. Good luck. Say hi to David for me. Uh, David's going to be on the cruise as well. He's the producer for the here each live stream. So, good guy. All right. <coughs> we're 49 hands or 51 hands here. So we're not going to get to our goal of 100 hands. It's kind of my goal. Uh, we are we only have an hour and a half left. Ah, oh, fuck, it's 
so bad. <laughs> a couple of aces running into each other here. Mike's got the better of it so far. Really bad to be out of your range. Of course, an eight does hit the flop. <laughs> We've seen a lot of hands suck out here on tonight, which is we'd love to see, but Mike's really just running into it hard here. Hope he's gonna feel better now about his his pair. He's gonna bet at six two. Relatively small, looks like seventy five. Oh, wow. yep. It had to just come smack me. Yeah. I've been, I was really hoping it was 70, this set of 60s. Someone's had to have had it. Who's folded it? Someone's folded it, right? Seven, I have it. Huh? Yeah? What was it safe? Like 25 of them each player? Yep. All right, let me check the likes here. Just got two K band. Yeah. Fifty three likes so far, one hundred and fifty of you in the chat. Colby, seven two, got a piece of it. Chase has the kicker with his two. It optimizes the one that's gonna fire. A jack would be a lot of trouble there for optimize on the turn. Chase is gonna just go ahead and take this down. I don't think anybody's gonna bet this. No, I don't think Optimize could bluff this spot because multi ways is gonna be. Oh, you had it! You had it! <laughs> All we had to do is talk about it, right? Look, there it is. I'm sure Dante told him. Dante told me we got the seven days game on, right? I'm playing seven days. We are playing the seven deuce game. As uh, Chase just said. Suitor days for Aaron. Gonna bump us up. Really had some bad luck there. And Kevin with ace queen suit is gonna re raise this for sure. Probably close to 100. See where he goes. He does. Looks like it is 100. Aaron's like, I cannot catch a break here. It's probably gonna call, but I wouldn't mind just folding it here. And Living for another day. Instead, he's gonna go with option three. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> the re-raise. Kevin's got him covered. He may like to go all in here. If he calls, he's gonna put one to two SPR. Did they change? Yes. I thought he, yeah, there he's 557. So I think a seabed by Aaron is going to work here. Kevin with just the two overs, he does have backdoor flush, but he's not too happy about that. Yeah. 
Typically when Aaron's seed betting, he's either got a big ace or he's got an overpair to the board. That pair is not going to fall within his pre-flop range there, so. Yeah, finally. <coughs> Rack and poker are overwhelming leader so far in chip winnings here. 4K profit. He's turned his 2K into 6K in two and a half hours, less than two and a half hours. So well done, well done. We'll play very sneaky at times, very disguised in some of his hands. So. Oh, the mandatory, right? And we're going to have Poker Lama's going to buy him. Looks like he's got 1500 in front of him. No, this is just the 10. The mandatory 10. I don't have reds. g Dog's got the same hand as Mike Bell, but he's going to re-raise his. Chase with a pair. He's going to call. He's going to set mine himself. Oh, Chase is running hot tonight. Flops is set against his opponent's top pair, and, and they're going to have to bet this because, because of the flush draw that is out there. So normally you can slow play either one of these hands if you wanted to, but... With the flush there, you don't want to give your opponent a free look at a card. Now, G-Dog does have the king of spades, which is still relevant in a call or a raise. Because he can go runner, runner, flush. Although it doesn't matter in this point. Now, a gut shot straight got there, but you're not really worried about that if you're Chase. Or even if you're G-Dog. And I really like Chase's bet because... Hopefully he was just firing there on the on the flop. He's got G Dog to bet into him. I think a little over half pot here. Chase could elect to raise, but I think that would scare off his opponent. So he probably doesn't want to do that. Didn't mind either. But for me, I like a raise in this spot. The, the old check raise. Again, you have that flush draw out there. And that is exactly what he does. He raises the 800, and he's going to get a quick snap call there. Now this pot is somehow at $2,200. Oh, well, we, now we have Chase is going to improve to a boat. So he's not worried about the straight anymore, obviously. G-Dog also improves, but he didn't need it. So unless he was up against some sort of weird 7-4 jack-7, he now improves. And Chase is going just to jam it here. I think Chase knows exactly what hand G-Dog has. He has a big jack. That's exactly what he has, and he's really targeting that with his play right here. But I think G Dog can find a fold. Chase can be loose, aggressive at times, or a lot of time, but in this spot, with the check raised and the jam, plus the flush got there too. Chase normally wouldn't check raise him unless he had it. <sighs> Have a jack key here. Yeah, he's going to find a fold here. No, he doesn't. I'm always wrong in these spots. Yeah, it's... <coughs> Yet another double up by Chase, having himself quite the evening tonight. Wins 3K in that pot, takes over the lead as far as community winnings. 
playing incredibly well. Mission confusion successful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think for anyone else, we'll get away very quickly. My range. Double straddle is in effect by Aaron, seat nine, having himself kind of a rough night, as is Poker Llama. And now G-Dog. One of the rare mistakes I've ever seen G-Dog make, play poker with him a few times. C3 is 5,000 behind. 5,000 behind. Nine left We've seen a few flop sets tonight. And it's gotten, it's gotten those players paid. All right, flushed off for Aaron. Top pair for Optimize. These two have played together a few times. Very small $15 bet, little blocker bet there. I think Aaron's going to size up here if he gets checked to him, which I imagine it would. Optimize does improve to two pair. No, he just checks it. Chase up a whopping five over 5K for this evening. Not a bad little night in less than three hours. It's good to be, Chase. Now we're up to a bomb pop. We have Jesse in the box. Very good dealer. I knocked him out of a big tournament <laughs> two years ago. So. I, every time I, every time he deals with that color score, you're going to close it. Hundreds of times. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're just having a little fun here. Um, okay, we're back. All right, let's see if we see what we got here. Nine ten is the nuts so far. <laughs> I don't play tournaments. <laughs> Oh, we do see Aaron with 9-10. Good to see him pick up a pot. There is no flush on that board, so he is still playing a straight in a bomb pot. Is, is not very comforting because you often get quartered, as we talked about earlier. 
And we have two players. I just talked about that. Now we have two players at 9-10. And there's a 9 on the other board, so it kind of blocks someone else having a straight. So usually you're feeling pretty good about that hand. Plus, you have gut shots all over the place. And Aaron has two pair on one board and the nuts on the other. Poker Llama has the better two pair. Nobody with the flush on the top. There is no flush on the board. Poker Llama's going to lay down the best hand. I don't blame him here. It's only two pair. This is going to, he's going to get quartered, I think. Just try to look. I think I think Mike Bell gets quartered in this spot. No, yeah, Mike Bell gets quartered here. They both have a straight. Finally, some run good for Aaron. It's going to take 75% of this pot, I believe. All right, here we go. Sorry, I was checking the chat here. All right, so we have two ace-10 suited, and we have the two other opponents with the same suit. So let's see some diamonds or some clubs. But we get neither. We get hearts. So no one's going to like that flop. Although Aaron did flop the best of it with bottom pair. You've been, you've been here Sorry. Now G Dog and both G Dog and Mike Bell flopped second pair or turn second pair, sorry. It's just showdown value at this point, especially going multi way like this. And that is where we're gonna leave it. Next time it's a one round penalty. Don't you forget it. Mine's have to be posted. Chase is going to go color up his chips. He's not. He's not leaving. <laughs> and we have a chop pot. So we're players win thirty-eight bucks. All right, we have just over an hour so left. Glad that was in diamonds. We've seen some really big hands so far. Lots of pocket aces, King. Lots of pocket eights. Lots of sets tonight. Not a lot of flushes. Now we're up to 174 people. If you're new or if you're not new, hit that like button for us. We would really appreciate it. I'm curious, how many how many hours of YouTube channels or YouTube usage, I guess, do you watch a week? You know, you can check that by looking at the viewed, viewed hours in the app. Um, I always thought I watched more YouTube. I don't even watch. I'm sorry? I don't even watch cable. Yeah. 
I don't know if I have cable. I do because we watch <laughs> NFL, but um, I only watch YouTube. I probably watch 60 hours a week of YouTube. We are six ways to the flop right now. Um, let's see what we got going. Four two, pair of fours, pair of threes. Some gut Barrel shots. Kevin with top pair, good kicker. G Dog with overs. Backdoor flush. Kind of something for everyone. Optimized with a gutter himself. To the almost nuts. And the seven comes. He'll have the nuts. Yeah, he'll have the nuts. That's definitely going to make Kevin feel a little bit more comfortable. Now he has trips. See if he can value bet that, but nobody even has a pair in this spot. All right, we got the we got the double straddle on. Chase is under the gun effectively with his suited connectors, his baby suited connector, which he's definitely going to play. I think he's just going to limp in here, looking for kind of a cheap flop. He wants to see a flop with that hand. Probably will call the raise for sure. Kevin's kind of in the same boat, a little bit better, of course. Poker Llama with a seven-two. We are playing the seven deuce game. He's going to come in for a raise for sure. Very, very few times. Probably a healthy raise. Let's see. Yep, he goes for 157x that. Seven and a half x. Thanks for stopping by, William. Appreciate it. Good to good to hear from you as always. I was almost positive you didn't have a flush that. 
One more person to fold, and he wins the seven Dewey. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Oh, That's oh, one right there. There you go, Lemma. God, I had it ready. <laughs> so funny, right? I said it too. Uh, I, it I mean, still I beats his 4-6. Right <laughs> <us, but. laughs> Shit. What did I have right there? Damn. Why couldn't I freaking find a call? <laughs> All right. He's going to win that prop bet. He wins the seven deuce game, which you don't see a lot of people win. Oh, um, so that, that nets him. That's going to net him $25 from each player. So. Good for him. It was suited. It was suited. Close. What are we even doing here? Because there's not a knit at the table. Um, the reason I like that hand so much is. <laughs> I was playing about a year and a half ago in here at the 1-3 table, and there's this real long list with a lot of action players in the list, and this guy was just sitting in the five seat and just playing nothing but aces, kings, or queens. That's, and he, he'd been playing for like eight hours, and that's what everyone and just said. That's the only hands he's playing. So I straddled for like, I don't know, like a hundred bucks. I had a pretty good sight straddle out there. And he raises it to 300, and uh, it full like snap folds all the way around to me, and I jam all in and throw my six four of hearts face up, and I and he looks at me like I'm fucking crazy, and he slowly turns over his kings, like trying to wonder what the fuck's going on. Like I, as he does that, the flop comes out six four blank. And he's just like, he's just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, Runs out here for me, and uh, and uh, he gets up, man, calls an Uber, goes out to his Uber, gets out of his Uber. Apparently, the guys that were smoking, the dealers that were smoking out front. So he got in his Uber, got out of his Uber, came back in here, steamed around the table a couple of times. He comes up to the table and he goes, "You and the dealer are cheating." Oh. <laughs> The whole table just butts. <laughs> it starts, it starts dying, man. Do we know this dude? No, I've only seen him that one day. Of course he's not coming back, bro. No. <laughs> yeah, we think you're so he schemes cheating. around the whole card room. And like 15 minutes later, we're, the whole table is just laughing real hard again. We're not laughing about him anymore. We're over him. Yeah. And he comes out of nowhere. He's like, you're still laughing at me? And everybody's like, now we are. no, man. Like, we're just laughing about this last hand. But, God, he was so mad. How much did you split it with the Listen to the Tales from Chase here. Yeah. Tales from Chase night. You know the important part of the story. He definitely gets you steamed up, especially if you've never played him before. Um, V Pips Chase is still in the lead. That's Kevin like is at 38%. Um, Aaron is at 18, just not getting the cards, not six getting four, playable eight, cards. Eight, tries four, to play some nine. of them, so but it's a somewhat not working out. Hand, yeah. Missing his first draws. Yeah. Optimize has also been quiet. We're going to incoming raise here. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of chips in there. Oh, there we go. Good couple of blacks. All right. Well, that's enough. That's a nice flop for G-Dog, obviously. Got ace, top pair, top kicker situation. Hopefully, hoping his opponent does have a, some sort of club draw. There, but oh, <laughs> there he does. Show your slide roll in the seven duty there. Well, like, yeah, his hands. Yeah, I mean, yeah, both those things. Sorry, I always see is the stack of green, and I'm like, I don't think that. I want to play this for $500. Yeah. Like Hi, Rena. Where the hell are the chips? <laughs> Playing with a jacket. That would have been a sick uh, angle if I actually did not have these. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I said I lost my thousand last time or something. <laughs> Yeah, 
crack. And also with the 6K stack, and a chase there. G Dog buys in for 5K for his second goal. Seeing some big stats now. Kobe with Kings. Like I said, we've seen Kings a lot tonight. And Kobe hasn't been very active. He's just been card dead as well. Pokalama with a pair. Looking to set mine here. King six flop would be incredible. Good for the stream. Yeah, this could go bet fold here. Two overs, two, poker llama sixes. It's tough to continue. Oh yeah, three people winning. Be pretty good tonight, especially Kraken and Chase. And we've got four people almost at 2K each losing. It's a tough one there as well. And we've got what, 30, Matt, we'll 30 to play on the table. Game again. Like that. <laughs> that way you did it the first time? Oh, we did my it's math wrong. Yeah, almost there, sure. keep standing. <laughs> Mike bumping this up, 4-3 suited. Kobe has a pair. Chase is suited, so he's not going anywhere. Pokalama's seeing all these people in the pot. I could, I could just call or even raise in this situation. He likes to call. I would expect optimized to raise. Can't go five ways here with his queen. But he's going to make it a decent size there, 185. It's going to be tough for anybody to call. Colby could probably give us a look up. Hoping to see low cards on the flop. I saw a queen right now. Oh, two. Oh man, that's that's. Well, at least it's an easy decision for Colby. That's all his pre-flop range there. Now there is a flush draw out there. Optimize could be working on, I guess. There's some sort of straight draw as well. But I expect him to fire at this. Most beautiful flop I could ask for. King seven of spades. King seven of spades. Good race. That's right. He, Chase had king seven of spades. Would have definitely been in there till the, till the end. Most likely. It is freezing in this room. I'm gonna put on the put on the hoodie. <laughs> I'm like, jeez, 
Give me one second, guys. I'm going to take off the headset and put on a, a hoodie. Someone else, I probably would. So, to your point. To your point. Yeah, to your point. Uh, can I get you? Chase is the big winner <laughs> on the move all tonight. Um, fun to watch so far. See how he finishes up. Sure. 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 Oklahoma wakes up with the pair here. Tony coming in for a raise. Looks like he makes it to 75. Nice size in there. Oh, he's going to flop a set here. And Colby's gonna flop a pair. This might be interesting here. Flush is out there. Flush draw is out there, so I expect a bet here. Poker Llamas. Finally, I flopped a set. Lots of lots of sets flopped here today, or turned or whatever. It's been. Oh, this is a horrible card for Colby. Now he gets he spikes two pair. He's gonna play the trap game. But he's value owning himself here a little bit, but he can never, he can't know that. So, oh, it's check. Oh, a nice check. Flush gets it. That's going to kill action. <laughs> Terrible card for Pokemon. I feel like he can just call this spot here. <laughs> <laughs> hey Adrian, yes, we did get new chips. Let's take it. This is the first time I've seen it on on the stream. They're, they're a little bit louder. I, I played with them. They feel a little different. They're really nice. I um, thought the turn was an action killer. I got so him last week. Or this week. I, I mean, I didn't know he had the ace. So I checked it. Drawing board.
Hmm. Let's see what we got. Kobe calling. A couple of broad ways. So you can afford it. A lot of multi way pots here. It's two ace jack. Instead, we get eight nine. So Kobe thought was an open ender. Got the better in, though, as well. Ace queen still in the lead. It's going to go 125, I believe. I don't think Kobe can fold just yet. Action what killer shirt here. Like? Flush gets the air. <laughs> I just never paid attention to it. <laughs> right. Good shirt. Kevin has a look of a man who does not have a flush. <laughs> Kobe has to fold here. So yeah, thanks for the stream. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you for joining us. Chase is our big winner along with Ace <laughs> so far. <laughs> We've got over 45 minutes left in the stream. Let's see if uh, Kevin likes to double straddle. Start calling you down. Uh, team team if anybody's ever in the Austin area, wants to, Austin area, wants to play on the stream, let us know. Uh, we'd love to see new players coming in, testing your skills against some of these some of these guys here. I couldn't agree with you more. Is it Adric? Oh, well, you had Not only is Chase. Uh, Fun player and a good player, and, but he's just a, he's all <laughs> just a, a great guy. Sets coming. Kind of the table and stuff like that. When he wins, you know, he's, 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 he's got it. I'm a representative. Here we go. When he loses, he's even nicer. So, um, yeah, I always enjoy it. Four hours. 9:30. Yeah. Did you want to hit and run, huh? Yeah, yeah. After. Dude, I'm chill, man. No, that's not true. <laughs> Bro, you won already. You took my money. Relax. <laughs> for a minute there, I thought I saw pocket aces, but then it was four. <laughs> I hit my. Is that every. I should have All right, we got a bunch of diamonds running into each other here. Because I took out your cash. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, Chase, you need to play that hand. That's got to give him USD. He doesn't hold up. We're multi way again to the flop. Ace 10, fours, and king seven. And this is just going to kind of do it for both of our ones. Oh, uh, uh, they gotta have a really high peso bill in order to carry around a lot of pesos. I bet it's gonna take it down. And Poker Llama's starting to creep his way back. I think he's picked up three, four hundred dollars since that unfortunate felting by Kraken. Where's the best so way to do that? Moving in the right direction. I mean, he's playing well now. He wasn't before. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's some spots. Right. Sure. So before you come here is essentially the answer. 
We do have a long list here for the stream tonight. Um, typically, we've, we've been able to use one or two players from that list, but tonight, all the players are, are remaining. A couple of players have been dealt with that they bought in because this game is a good game. A good exchange or not? I don't know. It seems like. Mike Bell's also been right. really, really quiet. Had to fold those kings early on to chase. Seems like you get fucked both ways whenever you're like. Kevin now, Speedy King. I would bump right this up for sure. And look, so he's going to go 130, looks like. But in Mexico, they love, they want US dollar. Yeah. T-Dog is going to defend this. But Kevin's really never, never raising lightly here. It's an interesting board. Kevin's got the flush draw, but the board is paired. Can't love it. It's going to better like he has an overpair here. Makes it relatively small. I don't think G-Doc can do anything. I thought I was going to take a different approach. He is going to raise this up. He does have backdoor equity with the straight and flushes, but he's not counting on that. He's counting to take this pot now. But Kevin, with the flush draw, he did the call saying, even if you have an eight, I still have some outs here. She didn't know I was coming back, but she didn't see me at Kevin is like, man, that should have worked. You should have folded. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I didn't answer. I didn't, I didn't see it. I, just, I had a missed call from her, and I called her back right now. I was like, I did call her right now. And I was like, what's going on? She's like, well, what's going on with you? That card's got to make Kevin feel a lot easier for calling any bets, but he's probably going to check this. That's going to be fun to watch in the comments. <laughs> Probably good enough to call, but, but not good like enough to win out, you. in my opinion. But he is going to do that. The worst thing he wants to see is get raised if his opponent does have an eight. But you would think that if G Dog had an eight, he would have bet that turn. I'm sure that's what Kevin's thinking right now. Well played by Kevin. Bomb pot here. Yeah. Is that nine? I have nine bomb pots. I hear some bad beats out there. <laughs> okay.
So Optimize has two pair on both boards and open ender on both boards. It's kind of rare. I don't think this is a spot where Colby can check as well. He's gonna he's gonna bet this out. Try to get some weak diamonds off the top. Yeah. Yeah, he really is. Optimize is trying to get someone to to bet that for him. It's already a big pot at 2100. Yep, he went pot pot. Oh, I'm glad I folded my mid, middle flush, my nine high flush. So Optimize is going to win this. He's going to get 75% of this pot. Oh fuck, my flush is good. Flush was good. Wow. No, freaking diamonds. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I thought you were diamonds. I folded the nine high diamonds. That's what I was in the tank. I had the nine high diamonds. Yeah. And then it goes diamond, diamond. I'm like, fuck. Did I really? Am I the only one with a diamond? Yeah. But when you're nine high, you're like, yeah. Optimize the two pair is gonna kind of win the win the top. Said you were considering bluffing this? <laughs> I rest my case. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. I can be a tight ass and then I can be just for a while. <laughs> I mean, thinking about bluffing it and bluffing it is a cute area. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Well, you would, though. So, <laughs> maybe there's yeah. one. Yeah. I, I think about bluffing a lot of heads. <laughs> so, you get quarters? He got three quarters. <laughs> no, I, I know you bluff. I'm just saying. 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 I'm just sa
everything? Like every, yeah. Yeah. There's some spots that'll be open, but mainly be like bars. Yeah. But nice restaurants like you call it. Flush draw is still out there. Nobody has a flush draw. Mike's going to prove to two pair here. And so is G-Dog, but... But it's Poker Llama who's going to lead out. He's going to get the jacks to fold there. Where aggression pays off, I like to move that over on it. Kind of rest that king, maybe that five. Once again, we have seen pocket aces all over. I, I, I think this is seven times. It's the most I've ever seen. And everybody, and all the opponents have Broadway cards. So we have Queen Jack twice. We have Queen Ten suited. You're right. <laughs> These are definitely hands they're gonna, gonna call, call, call. <laughs> Kevin's also gonna call. They all have each other's outs. So there's only one queen left, so we're looking for straights here. Uh, eight, nine, ten would be fun. Instead, we get this flop. Aces are definitely going to going to have to bet this. I'm just going to ship it right there. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. Hoping it's out of those other three players that somebody had a king. And Poker Llama making a comeback. Was down 2K earlier. Now is only down 850. I say only because that's a that's really good improvement by him. And he used, he's using aggression now to to win some of these pots, although those aces were pretty easy <laughs> to play. But um, but yeah, playing really well. Got most of, well, more than half his chips back. All right, uh, A Griff, I'm not sure what you mean by food. Chase is wishing, why didn't I have this hand last hand? Aaron finally wakes up with the big hand. And he's looking over. I think it's a 35. Probably gonna make it 135. Hasn't seen Queens all night. Makes it one. It sounds like they want to eat with Makes it 200. He goes huge. Are they cool with driving someone? Mike Bell wakes up with another pair, another big pair. He's definitely calling. He could come in for a raise, although I doubt it. Mm -hmm. 
Chase is like, what did I start here? With two pigs, now, now as it goes multi-way, he might think about just giving this a call here. I fold. I fold. Although the fold is much, <laughs> much reasonable. All right. I felt like Aaron just wanted to get that pot pre-flock. Oh, Mike Bell. I am so sorry. Mike Bell raised it. And he's going to ship it. I don't think Mike can call this. Looks like he is, though. I just don't think. Aaron raised. And then he jams over the top. And he's hoping for East King, for sure. Who has the seven dudes? Uh, wow. Big pot boiling right here. $3,600. Queen in the window. Oh, set over set. Ah, what a heartbreaker. Mike Bell was like, yes, I rivered it. King Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, That's I you. would leave if that happened. God, he's just, That's Mike Bell's just running. That's me. That's what I'm saying. Bad. He's going to make up all his money back. Nice. Like one hand. That's what poker will do for you. Mike is having himself a rough night. I've seen him have a really rough stream. night before. This one's really not going his way. Well, Igor, if we could talk about food. I know I asked about something a couple weeks ago about what was the best Chinese restaurant because I can't find one. Someone that counts. <laughs> But Mike Bell, but Mike D, is going to go ahead and say, I had enough of that. And he's going to take his leave. We don't know what his his losses are. They already took him out of the system. But he was already down 2K, I believe, and lost another 17, 18. So he's close to 4K down there. So that has got to hurt. I'll see you later, Adric. Hi. I, hopefully I said that correctly. Thank you for joining us. We see Jax again here. And I thought he said that too. Yeah. Yeah. I was not He's trying to start to pop this up. No, 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 because no, he left, so I was like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he raises it to 180. Yeah, yeah. He's a little 3x back here. Yeah, yeah. China family, I will check it yeah, out. I haven't been there yet, but I've been to a couple places that were not. Hey, who else that would you change? I'll just say that. Chase the only way down. Or, I mean, like, who else is there? I think sunglasses. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, sunglasses. I mean, it was only like 400, right? Peace, dude. Grand or something. <laughs> no. Yeah. But you, you think Chase you know, and Crack yeah, is still I, the big winners. The Aaron is now showing a profit of $33. And since he was down 2K, what a great comeback. Him and Poker That's what I thought you were referring to. Nice it's like, I wouldn't have doubled it. But I was close to it. I only seen G-Dog make one little mistake. And, it, and that was cost him his whole stack there. Um, I was trying to get llama. Always llama mama. Why llama? That's just my brand. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with poker. Like you associate with llamas and so on. Fortnite. It was my spirit, spirit animal. Oh, 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 I had a sales job that I had. I had a sales job, and all the sales guys they show a two, so they made a, a sell. They four, would like, blow your emoji up. Like, oh, okay. Fortnite, Just wondering if it can, if it can get any colder in here. <laughs> Fortnite is a game where there's a piece of lava piñata. So you find it in the game, is that what you're saying? My grandchildren play that shit. You're saying that was your... I play it. I play it. No, no. I'm a lot of them. I used to play Fortnite. Yeah, four grandchildren. They
couldn't think of any. I was like, they call me Lama at work. Yeah. 13, 11, 9, and 5. So it's 10. Fun. I should have. That'd be good. That's a good answer. Okay. You caught me, G-Dog. The last hand. Poker Lama. <laughs> suited Jack 10. That's good for a raise. That's been his opening raise at 75. Are you G-Dog tonight, I'm sure? Yeah. <laughs> we usually is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when, the sun, when the sunglasses are on, he's G-Dog. Oh, yeah. Always. Casey's going to call with his suit. Oh, no. I thought he was going to call with his suit connector. I think. Glare. Glare on the stream. Yeah, I like it. I've been reading your cards all night. <laughs> <laughs> Still have 156 you folks in the that chat. That would be funny again. if someone had, like, it. it's their some really okay. good, like... I always look them down. You got close to 200, then we... Perfect, like, mirror sunglasses. Then, <laughs> then you're really bad when I was. <laughs> <laughs> I think the double straddle is on to 25. I'm seeing these open raises to 75. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to out. One time straddle. For the content. For the Aaron, his opponent here, but he definitely, and Aaron does have a gut shot, definitely getting back to a flush. And he's definitely going to rep that ace as he's the free flop aggressor here, and I think that's exactly what he's going to do, knowing he's got some mounts, but this guy's I don't think Poker Lama can go anywhere. Just yet. Maybe pick up some additional equity with the spade on the turn, or he can get two pair. So he's now comfortably hoping Aaron has an ace at this point. No, oh, I don't like the bed here, though. Oh, yeah? Oh, good. There is two. Okay. There is a flush draw out there now. So sure. Charging charge you for that. Okay, it's yeah, a so small bet. 75. He's really just trying to build a pot then. For 75, I'll call for a gut shot. That is not a card. Poker. Yeah. That is actually the worst card he could have. Yeah. Basically, gets counterfeited. I mean, it sure. doesn't prove a yeah. or two pair, but... You know, Jack's now beat him. Yeah. Go play, go play, go play that game. And really Ken probably money. beats him. With the, he gets out kick there. I want to merge his range here and, and lead out big this time. We know that it'll work. So. Yeah, counterfeit. Straddle. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I was straddling all in last week. He was so two nice. in the two in between three dog pots, so that's to put him in the 500s as far as yeah. losses, which is not bad at all. Late night fun game. Five, considering he was down 2K. Like, it was, uh, so he's down 6 like, like when you go crazy, when you shop with 6 4 and show your hand. And, uh, oh, yeah. That, that's fun to watch. Yeah. Bracken's still up to 4K. Come on, off night. Chill out. I couldn't play like that tonight because my wife said she was watching. So. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are hard to go off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have Aaron here with the suit. So that's what you do with our defend okay. with this <laughs> one yeah, yeah. there. Suited. But you win. That's Chase. why I shouldn't let mine watch. Letting us know his wife is watching. <laughs> She's not watching. Chase has played when, very well when tonight. Like First, he got eight, some hands, got some flop. He put himself in position to win. A lot of money. It's over 5K. Like Aaron's going to flop the nut flush draw with Kraken as a pair, bottom pair. Backdoor straight flush draw. That's good enough for a bet there after Aaron checks. And of course, Kraken is technically ahead. And it's like the only sure. time she's ever watched, too. Sure. So I'm like, all right. This chance is going to turn a good one. Yeah, oh, cool. 
So Kraken approves to a better two pair, but it's almost meaningless, six and five. <laughs> I'm gonna bet this out. It's just gonna be a full She's like, thanks, Graham. <laughs> Kraken can't put him on a nine. Oh, ace high. He's thinking ace high is good there. And sometimes ace high is good there. Sir. That was some good value betting there by, by Kraken. Kraken, isn't that the mystical beast? <laughs> From, I can't remember what movie that's from. If anybody knows the movie The Kraken, then please let me know. I will go speak on that. Is that a thing here? I'm just oh, yeah. I guess I can. No, I, meant, I, like, I don't think I stream on this one. Maybe if it was like a special. Yeah, I'm going to sound it. What's your question, Lana? If they do like overtime for the stream. For the stream. Oh, Sometimes yeah. they will. It, it was a. If it's like a super action packed game, they'll, yeah. in, they'll usually give it a little extension. Ah, oh, it's killing me what movie that is from. Oh well. Kraken's raise is up to 60. Chase has a nice hand. He's got two Broadway cards. King Queen, Poka Lama, who's now played almost like every game. All right, Poker Llama playing queen six off flops trips and Kraken flops top pair. This could get interesting. These two have played some really big pots. Just kind of heads up. So this will be really, really fun. Kraken's going to lead off for 100 at the top pair. Poker Llama, is, I think he should just call this. I don't blame him for raising either. You don't want to see another eight peel off. I think that's what he does. He three X's his raise. He makes it 300. And Kraken's asking himself, would a six ever re-raise me here? Wouldn't he rather trap? Well, there's different ways of playing it, I guess. Thank you, Jedi Master Ted. Clash of the Titans. Oh, that was killing me. I was, gonna, I was about to type in Kraken in the search and see what comes up. Oh, there's the eight. This, oh, this night's not going. Kraken is just running great. It's and he's got the he's got the opponent who's aggressive who also has a boat. This could get um, this could get fun. That is not a card that Kraken wanted to see. It's gonna lead out here. Wow. Poker Llama's dead to quads. He needs quads to win this hand. Clash of the Titans. That's kind of what we have here right now. Poker Llama versus Kraken Poker, our two guests here, our two poker vloggers going head to head. I love what Kraken's doing right now. He's like, you know, I'm not so strong, but I don't believe you. I may call with ace high. <laughs> and he just calls perfect. If he raises, the red flags go up. Don't allow Poker Llama to bet again. That's actually a terrible card for Poker Llama. Of his calling range, Kraken could contain an ace. Now we can see that he contains an ace. Um, it's a good, it's a great card for Kraken. He may be able to. Poker may be thinking that he can get some value out of this ace. But Kraken actually improves his boat. Oh my gosh! All in snap call. Oh wow. That's got to be the hand of the night right there. Wow. Runner, runner. I mean, he didn't need the ace, but if if he thought maybe he was chopping the pot with Poker Llama having an eight, that is effectively, you know, it's obviously pocket aces. Pocket aces right now. Wow. That's, I mean. I'm buying the port. For a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, see it open live stream. That was so that was that was a sick, sick hand. 
And that was like the last, the like one of the last hands of the if night. I'm just saying, that's probably why you don't play queen six. <laughs> you don't want to kick a man when he's down. <laughs> that's sick. You need a moment for that one. I was afraid of fucking six hours, like, whatever. Yeah, I really had it. Not full of this guy. It should be a dead small, right? It is a dead small, right? It should be a dead small, right? It should be a dead small, right? Yeah. But... Uh, I love how I said he's going to get the camera on him. You know, he got it like out of perfect time. We're going to go with screw. Yeah. You do a little, call, a little, call, yeah. a little tank call. Yeah. That would have been yeah. like the uh, ultimate time to do uh, uh, a <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, bro. Still a little stunned by that game. hand. That was just that was uh, on, the French 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 on the stream that we've seen in a really long time. So I thought he played it masterfully. He looked like he was concerned about overwhelming bet. Hoping his ace hides good, and when the ace came, I felt like he just induced that play. It's twice now he did that to poker over Lama. I just, well played, sir. And Chase now with the flush draw, not flush draw here. And Kevin with a pair, so we can get some money in this pot too. I think there's going to be a bet and a call. I, like I said, I know we have a list here. Wow. We have Chris now. So we went from a really good player in Mike to a really good player in Chris. <laughs> um, Me. And then I just snaps it. Or, like, I don't, I don't know, it or something. Oh, yeah. It's like, I, I fought. I, I wasn't trying to soar all the way, but I just said, I fought. And then he goes, oh, that's so sick. And he looks so sad. So, I fought. I was like, here, fought. Yeah. This guy flops quads against me the other night. Oh, yeah. Those fives. Eight players. Come on, guys. No comments about that boat over boat. Oh, that's the one hand. I'm going to go back and replay that and watch Kraken's. It wasn't his, um, really his, his kind of his body language and his facial expressions that gave confidence to pull him on. We are in a bomb pot here. We're already at the turn because I'm still thinking about that hand two hands ago. <laughs> I see a flush out there. Uh, I do see a flush by Chase. He's got the king high flush. Chris has the ten high flush, but barrels live stream. Four we'll does not stream. Board is not straight yet. There are some draws out there. Nobody really has. Much as we narrow down the field here. Have fun, Michael. King high flush up top. Two thousand behind seven. There's a boat there with King five. And Kobe has nine in the boat himself. He's got the bottom. There's an ace. I see. Yeah, I knew someone was sleeping on boat, and both y'all motherfuckers were. Wait, wait, why am I getting? I have queen five. He had queen five. Yeah, I have a better shot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Queen five. And I see. It's a chop between me and him, right? Yeah, queen six on the bottom. Queen six. Too bad. Chase is going to win two pair.
Kraken and Chase are completely owning this table. 12 K between the both of them in profit. Kevin also is showing a small profit. 860. And we know that uh, Poker Lama is probably down 4K for the evening, so it doesn't show up there. Maybe a little more, I'm not sure. 3,500, maybe something like that. We have a new player. So we have Chris in there, C1, really good player. Been on the stream. Kind of a regular now going forward. And we have a, another new player in seat seven. Probably wouldn't want to sit in that seat. <laughs> There's a reason why it's open. Let's, we'll take a look and see who that is. He's going to come in for the last seven or eight hands or so that we have on the stream here. Haven't seen his face yet. We got Iceman there in seat three. <laughs> G-Dog. Um, Oh, I, Robert. Yes, I've, I've played with Robert a few times. Seven calls. He didn't show, but I'm interested to see what he had. Yeah, I had to have an eight, right? Nine raise, 180. Aaron's got a suited I mean, ace jack. I could, right. Yeah, he, he does. Have a six right he there. Is, yeah, he does raise. There's no way he's going to Makes it beefy, too. Five. Nothing can really call unless they've got top of range here at this point. Suited ace, maybe. What was he in for? Little what bigger what pair he, yeah, call what was, what was he in for Robert can't call. Okay. I thought he bought in for more. I would love to see Chris get into it lane. with Kraken. Uh, with them both having Kirby good hands, it'd be fun to watch. Like a Kirby Lane? Kirby Lane? Yeah. Kirby Lane. It's like a breakfast cafe. Yeah. It's like a better Denny's. Okay. Just across the street, too. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm taking my sweet time. So it's just a, it's a regular hand. Yeah. Okay. We have Adidas here. He's going to fold. Did a lot of folding lately. <laughs> just has not had hands at all. Just living card dead. It looks like Kraken should be playing at a different game right now <laughs> than what he is with his 10K in front of him and the 2-5 game, mind you. And Chris is going to raise this up. With G-Dog calling, that's probably going to invite Chase in. Chase is playing really well tonight. I actually think he's, I mean, this is not a knock against him, but I actually think he's played m more disciplined. I wonder if he's still having fun though. I guess winning 4K, 5K is a lot of fun. But um, he normally would call Jack Nine. But, but being a little more selective tonight, I mean, it's really paying off in his, his favor. All right, so that flop's not going to help anyone. I think twos are still out in the lead, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, twos are still out in the lead. Oh, Chase did call? Doesn't have any cards in front of him. <laughs> Doesn't have any cards in front of him. Chase is not in the hand, guys. Iceman takes it down. I think we're going to have a guest commentator coming in. To the, no, I guess not. No, no guest commentator. Sorry. I'm trying to. Well, I know I played with you. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Trying to get the producer in here to chat it up with us the last few minutes. Drinking. That's, that's the thing. I gotta go home. Ooh. Because 
He said, when the stream ends, you're coming home, right? Oh, right. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> you responded, no. I could, uh, I could play the old... Uh, um, All right, sorry guys. I was just trying to get some hot chocolate <laughs> until we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cold. So we have Kevin with six five, very big fan of six five. Yeah. Seen lots of pocket twos lately, and Aaron's going to bump this up. Twos never lose, right? Is that the saying? All right, ace nine for pocket twos. Gonna see a C bet here from Aaron. Otherwise, wedge that with Ace King. Finally getting a good starting hand here. He's going to bump this up a lot. Cracking up 7K. I feel like he's shutting it down now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, book this, book this win. You're right. It's deuces never loses. Something like that. Players will be playing after the stream as well. For probably one, two, three in the morning. And this club is 24 hours. So. And we have we have two players flopping top pair here. But I, Flush gets there. Only Chase with the spade. Kevin's going to lead out here. Well, it's effectively a chop pot when the 10 came. They just don't know it. I can tell you this playing with Robert before. He is not folding top hair anyway. Kevin's going to make it one for Jack. Jack. There you have it. Chop hot. Still waiting for my hot chocolate from. No. Sorry. So second to last hand. This has been a really fun stream. I know we still have three more hands left, but a really fun stream. I appreciate everybody being in here in the chat. Um, seen some really, really big hands. I still can't get over that. Boat versus boat versus llama versus. I wish the producer would give me that little heads up. I literally had all. I literally fell out of my chair. <laughs> I was like, "Thank you, it's not. That does not happen." <laughs> I was like, "Wow, that's um, that was fun. We had a couple of those types of hands, but I'll remember that one for 
for a long time, especially when it's against the, you know our, our guests, so to speak. So, yeah. So, and that's in, in Kraken, felted him twice tonight, so probably not going to go over well. <laughs> no hot cocoa? Uh, <laughs> no, that's okay. You don't have to. I'm, well, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's um, huh? Oh. I don't work. I don't have a job. This is, this is it. All right. Chase dragging another pot. Last hand, seven deuce in effect. Uh, last hand. Were we bombing? Just uh, last hand. <laughs> Oh, okay. We got a bomb pot. We got a bomb pot. Slot. The last hand is a bomb pot. This is second to last hand, I guess. I lied last hand. I didn't know we ended on a bomb pot. I didn't know that. It's a new, new thing. All right. Uh, 93 is our last hand, which will always end in a bomb pot. Um, and I actually lost count. I think it's 11, but I'm not sure. 10. This will be our last Hold'em hand, I think. We have King Queen raised by G Dog. Or AKA Iceman. I just. <laughs> I've been calling him Iceman this whole night. <laughs> so we'll have to. Next time he plays, we'll have to have him change that to Iceman. Per the commentators. Because <laughs> I'll just call him Iceman anyway. Kobe has been just carded. Kind of like Optimize here. Got the Jack 10. It's going to flop a gutter here. It does have a club. Robert has a better club. Two overs. G Dog is going to get, aka Iceman, is going to hit. It's going to turn top pair now, so I expect him to, to bet this. Something value -y. Half pot would be great. Let's see what he likes to do. He likes to almost, yeah, he likes to go half pot here. Oh, trying to get an eight to call, but you think an eight or a seven. All right, seven deuce game's dead. Actually, no, we said that if you oh, scoop a seven deuce, no. Sorry. And no, here we go. Point. We are off to a bomb pot, I believe. Man, I'm surprised we didn't see more seven deuces. Yeah, I just won, right? Last hand of the evening. Again, thanks, everybody, for joining us. As far as you know, it was only dealt twice. Thank you in the chat for correcting me this whole time. <laughs> Stand up and we played seven deuce all the time. We just didn't want to tell you. you know. We will be here next Monday, <laughs> of course. <laughs> same time, same bat channel. All that good stuff. <laughs> uh, we are doing the poker cruise for TCH next week, I believe. And so, and we're still doing a live stream. We'll have our producer actually on the cruise, the Lucky Devil. Something I wanted to do, but my wife couldn't get the time off. And I'm going to Hawaii in three weeks yes. as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. I can do both, but I love going on cruises. Let's see what we got here. We do see Robert with a three. Robert can be very sticky. So let's see how that goes. And we even check all the way around, which I am not used to seeing in bomb pots. And <laughs> bomb pots have always been big. Uh, we've seen a couple of big bomb pots tonight, though. It's good to see. Oh, Robert, let's see what Robert's got. Robert has got no friend, though, with his trip, so he's probably just in call mode here. Aaron does have a flush draw with a pair on the bottom. He's got a flush draw on both boards. So now we are heads up, and it looks like it's going to be a chop pot. The famous chop pot. And there you have it, chop pot. Everybody wins 35 bucks, so how exciting. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for commenting, hitting that like. We will see you next Monday. And, of course, if you're going on that cruise, which I know a few of you are, have a lot of fun, take a lot of pictures, share some stories in a couple of weeks. All right, take care, guys.